live. It's a little bit of a delay, but we are finally live. Friday night, Nick. Salute to Nick's Nation. This is the NBA free agency special. CP from Nick's Fan TV. My man Jay Ellis from the Nick of Time Show. Jay Friday. Ellis. Friday night. Yep. We are an hour and a half into free agency. And the Knicks and JaVale McGee have yet to sign that max contract, man. What's happening, man? What's going on? I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you say? Knicks and JaVale McGee. Oh, you just got to turn your volume down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Yeah, All right. We back. <laughs> yeah. We yeah, back. Man. Sorry. I got thrown off CP. No, all good. Um, Yeah, no, I was just, just making a joke. But yeah. All, all quiet on the free agency front for the Knicks right now. I think where we are is that uh, looks like Gordon Hayward is uh, kind of holding everything up. Uh, you know, right now, the speculation is that Indiana holds, holds the cards in terms of a sign and trade. Mm-hmm. But Boston is holding out for not just Miles Turner, but a combination of either TJ Warren or Victor Oladipo in a trade package. Four one Gordon Hayward, uh, so we'll see, man. You know we're we're gonna see where the Knicks end up in this thing. They're not out of it. Yeah, uh, Macri had reported that a deal could be hovering around three three years for for seventy million. And so, I think Indiana's gonna be in you know in the driver's seat. Let's see if Boston buckles in 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 terms of their trade offer. Indiana only wants to give up Turner and Doug McDermott. Meanwhile, like I said, Danny Ainge wants TJ Warren or uh, Victor Oladipo in addition to Miles Turner. So Yeesh. I think the I think the Knicks could still be involved here, bro, if things break down between Indiana and Boston. So what, what's your um what's your take so far? Yeah, absolutely. Um, sometimes teams get frustrated in scenarios like these where they just they just don't want to call the table anymore and they walk away. And if that happens, the Knicks have the the best offer on the table, at least what it seems like anyway. And I was a little lukewarm on this question when you asked me this question about Gordon Hayward the other day. But I've, I've warmed up to the idea of Gordon Hayward, especially three years. Three years uh, was 70 million, 75 mm-hmm. million around. Mm-hmm. Not, not a bad contract, especially if we're doing something like a Julius Randle's a deal situation where it's two years, third year team option. I'll be down for Gordon Hayward. He he just, you know what it is? It's it's the team concept that he plays with. Right? I feel like he'll be able to shoot when he has to, but he's also not going to be a ball hog. So I, I don't feel like it's going to take away too many touches from the guys around them. Everybody will be able to eat, play a little bit of offense and defense. And at that time, we just have to look for a point guard to put everything together. I don't trust it. I'm just going to tell you right now. I don't, I don't trust it on a multi-year deal. One-year balloon deal, sure. I'll give it to him. I don't I don't trust it here. Um, he had a good year last year. I'm not going to lie. He had a good year last year. It certainly helps. Um, can fit right in with RJ. Um, helps space the floor for OB as well. Good passer. I understand it. I just don't trust it. I think this is a leverage move uh, to try to get more money somewhere. And Absolutely. I think he wants to go home. He's from Indiana. He wants to go home, man. I was told that the the Pacers are the favorites. It later came out today that said the Pacers are the favorites. So let, let's see how it goes. Like I said, Boston right now is trying to get not just Miles Turner, but either Victor Oladipo or uh, uh, Ty Warren, along with Miles Turner, for Gordon Hayward. So Ainge is riverboat gambling right now, man. Because he could <laughs> lose him. He could lose him for nothing. Absolutely. And that's not what Ainge does. Ainge is used to getting his way. He will flip his own mother for some yeah. picks. Yeah. I, I guarantee it seems like he always gets his man. I wouldn't be surprised if he walks away with something. Uh, Nick seemed like a long shot to me, even though they said we're still in it. But we will see what happens. There's a few more days ago. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just getting started. Just getting started. Salute to everybody in the chat. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. 1,000 in the chat on Knicks Fan TV. Salute to everybody watching on Facebook, the Nick of Time show, everywhere that you guys are live. We are live and direct for this free agency special. Well, JL, this could also mean one thing, because things are kind of quiet right now for the Knicks. And Anthony yeah. Davis has not signed his max contract yet with the Lakers. Mm. He said he's waiting. <laughs> 
<laughs> he might be waiting for that cone from Leon, man. That's <laughs> ah, I wish. That's the I play. Wish. Yeah. Everybody think he's you're talking about Hayward. I think he's the play, man. Yeah, I, I wish. I wish, man. Um, Fred Van Fleet is expected to meet with multiple teams, according to Shams, this weekend. Again, the Raptors hold the cards. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I wouldn't hold that hope. But when he says multiple teams, I can't see who else has the cap space outside of the Knicks and the Raptors to 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 really um, deal with Van Fleet, who himself said he wants the bag. <laughs> he made no he made no uh, uh, mincing of words on the JJ Reddick podcast. He wants mm-hmm. the bag. So he, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he definitely wants the bag, but he also kind of prefaces that by saying that he feels like he could stay too because you know. Kyle Lowry is getting a little bit older mm-hmm. and, he, and he can take over when he leaves too. Cause of course he doesn't just want the bag, but he also wants to be in the right situation. Um, but um, just like you said, CP Knicks in Toronto are in the mix Phoenix. They were the other, the other team that was in the mix before, but now that they have Chris Paul, it's Toronto the Knicks. So we might just be used for leverage. Yeah. Um, so we we'll see what happens there. May I don't maybe if we did a thing where you where we did the 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 second tier free agent uh, uh behind the scenes moves like Miami did, we get we get Gordon Hayward to talk to Fred Van Vliet mm-hmm. and take a little bit less money to yeah. come to New York. Yeah, uh, yeah. Atlanta has cap too. Shout out Jean Marc du- Dubé. And Atlanta has cap too, but Atlanta puts in an offer for uh, Bogdan right. Bogdanovich. Exactly. So that cap gone. So that <laughs> cap is gone. And Atlanta mm-hmm. looks like they're trying to load up on some vets. So we'll see what happens there. I still don't understand what happened with Bogdan and and the freak and, and the Milwaukee Bucks. But exactly. uh, he got out of that deal quickly. Exactly. No pun intended. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> sure. And and then and the Knicks, when the Knicks PR put the statement out there that the quickly deal was official, I was like, oh man, it's gonna be a quiet free agency, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, your boy, your boy Ian, he alluded to this earlier. He felt yeah. like this was going to be a reserved, quiet free agency. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, ne- next year is the is the big one. So I think the Knicks want to be in play for next year. As they so should. Trying to play it safe with the Russell Westbrook trade and, and things of that nature. Just, they're just doing their due diligence yeah. as of yeah. right now. To agreed. See what shakes uh, mm-hmm. Agreed, agreed. Uh, let's see what else has happened so far. Goran Dragic, Dragic has gone back to the Heat. Mm-hmm. Goran Dragic has gone back to the Heat. Two-year deal worth 37.4 JLs. So Dragic wow. gets that bag. Yeah, that's a, th- that's a thank you. Appreciate you for coming and, and and you know, surviving the rebuild from Pat Riley. Because remember, Dragic was, they traded for Dragic to pair him mm-hmm. up with Wade and Bosch. Things started falling apart. Bosch goes down with the, with the blood clots. Ultimately, uh, D Wade, you know, starts slowing down anyway. So Dragic was there for a couple, couple of losing seasons there, and and then they started building back up. So uh, Riley uh, paid him, paid him for his loyalty quite handsomely, man. Dragic, some good faith, man. Some I, I good faith. Riley thing them to do usually. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of shocked to be honest with you, especially after being injured all those years. That's right. Even in the playoffs, usually Riley tries to you know penny pinch and and an angle, but maybe he's going for another angle and, and trying to do this culture thing that everybody keeps talking about. That's right. That's right. Wesley Matthews signs with the Lakers. That was rumored uh, for a while, $3.6 million for one year. So seems like they swap out Wes Matthews, Danny Green for Wesley Matthews. So Lakers uh, seems like they haven't skipped a beat. Yeah, man. Solid, solid. Wesley Matthews. Mm-hmm. I, I know he's happy. That's almost an instant ring. Now, especially now that the Golden State Warriors are out of it. Yeah. It's looking like, I don't know if Kelly Oubre is going to be able to reproduce what Clay did. but <laughs> No, definitely not. But, you know, something to keep him treading water. And I thought that was a no-brainer deal for Golden State. Tough to lose Clay, man. I was looking forward to seeing him come back out there. One of my favorite non-Knicks in the league next to Dame. Um, yeah, I, I was very much looking forward to, to seeing Clay Thompson back in the league and that Achilles injury sounds pretty horrific. Yeah. I, I don't know how he's going to bounce back. That sounds like the John Wall version where he was out for almost two years. Yeah. So let, let's see. Um, let, let's see what happens there. 
Yeah, you hope that the mental is still there because after rehabbing and then getting re-injured right after that, it's a lot to go on your psyche, man. Yeah. And I, it's, it's, I like to see those teams be good, too. The West is usually a bloodbath, but, I mean, I, I definitely still want to see Golden State Warriors do well and the Rockets do well just so we can keep the Dallas Mavericks down. Man, speaking of the Mavs, bro, they had an outstanding draft so far. I can't even lie. They've had an outstanding draft. I expect them to sign Danilo Gallinari or maybe in a sign and trade. And the Mavs are not going to skip a beat, man. They're, they're retooling and, and they look like they're going to be a hot team going into the West. Yeah. I, I mean, again, all the eggs long. That Danilo Gallinari was um, the, probably the first modern four I can remember, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so for them to get them, it, it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not surprising, man. It's not surprising if they land them. Hopefully, I'm still not rooting for them just because I'm a hater. <laughs> just be honest. I'm just being hate, honest. Hate, 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 hate. Yeah, hate is my blood. Yeah. Hate is my blood. That's the yeah. enemy. So to everybody in the chat. Him, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So congrats, I guess. So to everybody in the chat, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Creeping up on 1,500 in here. Going hey. live on Knicks Fan TV. Uh, I hope you guys saw the appearance on SNY with Ian Begley earlier. The putback CP was in there representing for the fans. The fans came in there representing for Knicks Fan TV, man. I watched the replay a little while ago, and all I saw was like, KFTV, KFTV, KFTV. So uh, for everybody that came through to rep, man, I definitely appreciate all the support. And hopefully we can keep it going. Let's go to the phone sales here for some some fans. Uh, Max from the Bronx, what's going on, Max? What's going on, CP? What's going on, JL? Let's talk everything. What's going on, man? What's good, Max? How you feeling, bro? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So I'm, I was thinking about the team, and all right. So I have a couple free agents I think we should go after, and then a one trade that we should go after. So the two free agents, well, three free agents I think we should go after is Monte Morris from Denver, good defensive guard who can hit a wide open three, can play pick and roll. Fairly well. Um, Burton, for obvious reasons, he's a shooter, and we need as much shooting around RJ as possible. And Dario Saric, also, who's kind of like a four. He can play three, but he can also shoot. He can play make and stuff like that. So I feel like if the Knicks are actually doing the smart thing and they are building around RJ and Mitch because RJ can facilitate. We don't really – I don't – I'm not like – we need a point guard because it just makes the game easier. But yeah. we don't, we don't like, we don't need, need, need a point guard because we have a facilitator in RJ. And the one trade I would go for is Buddy Hill because now he just paid basically Darren mm. Fox like $190 million. And Buddy Hill's kind of like a malcontent over there. He don't really like it in Sacramento. So I would try to trade for Buddy Hill, put him at the two, have RJ at the three. They can have a bona fide scorer, flamethrower, who RJ can facilitate to, and you'll have, and the court will be wide open. So that's my, that's what I'll do. All right, all right. Who, who's the guard? He said, D'Anthony Melton, right? D'Anthony, uh, Max, the Anthony. No, I said Monte Morris. Monte Morris. Monte Morris. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, listen, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be a bad pickup. Wouldn't be the worst pickup. I just feel like that slot right now is being held down by Frank. By quickly, you know what I'm hearing. I'm I'm hearing they're gonna keep Frank. So you know, to the Frank haters, I'm, I'm sorry, but but to Max, who's a Frank fan, he, he should be happy about that. I'm I am hearing that they're gonna keep Frank. So I don't think um they would pick up Morris, you know, to to fill that role. Right, right. I feel you. I mean, on the Buddy Hill thing, I was against doing the Buddy Hill thing, man. For yeah. Sure. But I don't know, man. I might consider it at this point. I might, but 19 is, is till 20. That contract is long, man. 2023. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would say uh, don't get desperate for heel, man. Don't get desperate for heel. I'll, listen, I like him. Obviously, flamethrower, no doubt about it. But um, it's the defense. You, you you wonder if you want how good is Tom Thibodeau teaching these guys how to play defense because – that's the thing that kept him off the floor in Sacramento. Yeah. He was in the 90 percentile. In How many weak three. spots are you going to be able to afford? Exactly. Exactly. How, you re- how many weak spots are you able to afford? 
Ah, this sucks. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's just an interesting case to ponder. You know, Philly, I was thinking Philly would have been um, a suitor for heel, but they really stacked up for with oh, yeah. shooters between the draft and trades. You know, they got Danny Green as well. Um, so I'm wondering if Philly's still going to be in the market for Buddy. I agree with you there. I mean, I wonder how how serious is the interest with Justin Holiday as well. Like, he's not the flamethrower. Oh, with the Knicks? Yeah, with the Knicks. He's not yeah. the flamethrower that everybody else is, but he's solid from three, and he's a, he's a two-way guy. He's going to give you some blocks and some steals from the shooting guard position. That's something that a lot of twos aren't giving you. So that's still a possibility. It might not cost as much. Yeah, I think I think they could get Holiday easily. I think that'll be kind of last on the priorities mm-hmm. list. You know, I don't I don't think uh, Holiday's market is gonna be that crazy. But um, again, from a you know, is Brock Holler looking at it that way from a cap perspective in, in terms of getting some three point shooting efficiency out of there? Uh, De'Aaron Fox of the Sacramento Kings is the first max contract of 2020. So swipe of the Fox. Swiping in for five years, 163 bags, J. Ellis. Woo! Swiper cashing out. All those rumors. Swiper and I saw that goofy Swiper. rumor that was going on that's, that he was going to get traded. There was I didn't believe that for a second, man. I didn't believe that man. for a second. RP Legion of Hoops. Yeah. I, yeah. All that Legion of Hoops Ross. I don't I don't know who's going to that guy for, as a source, but he's not my source. I'll tell you that. Jesus. Um a minute after they reported he gets the bag. That yeah. is hilarious. Swipe of the Fox. 163. <laughs> Cash out. <laughs> Man. He's a, he's, a, he's a gamer, too. That's a lot of PS5 shells. He's a happy guy right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know he's buying and reselling. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of flips. <laughs> That's a lot of flips for that PS5. Exactly, man. man. That's a fact. The rich get richer. The rich get richer. The rich get richer. So, Swipe of the Fox cashing out. Um, but now does that mean, does that mean Bogdan slips out to the Hawks? Do they even match a deal with the Hawks? You know what I so mean? It, yeah. If I'm the Hawks, I'm putting pressure. Yeah. I'm putting a poison pill. I'm, I'm putting years doing everything, man. Yeah. If I'm the Hawks right now. I agree. I, yeah, I just didn't get the, the, uh, the Fox trade rumors. I didn't get it. I, I know the Kings management has been chaotic and, and in transition, but I couldn't see a new regime trading their best player. That That's a quick way to lose fans. I, I couldn't see that at all. I could not see that at all. Yeah, but, me neither. The, yeah. the rumor was that he was planning on getting out because of his distaste for the organization. I don't know where that yeah. came from. Man. I, I, never I didn't buy it. I didn't <laughs> buy it at all. Salute yeah. to everybody in the chat once again. If you guys are new in the chat, leave me a hashtag new. I saw somebody in the chat here from checking in from New Zealand. So salute to everybody wherever you guys are watching from around the world. Definitely appreciate all the support. All right. Let's go to Jersey. Jamal is up next. Jamal, what's going on, bro? What's going on, fellas? How y'all been? Good, man. Right. Happy Friday, bro. What's your points for tonight? Uh, I definitely... Don't want Hayward, even though if it was to go through, it'd be a deal I'm not mad at. But uh, I hate the Celtics the most in the league, and I just don't want no parts of nobody in green on our team. I feel like Clyde still about the Celtics. Yeah, <laughs> Clyde but, still um, hates the Celtics to this day, bro. Yeah. To this day. Yeah. To this I day. feel like the move to make or to try to make, one of the moves is for Van Fleet. I feel mm-hmm. like Van Fleet is a well-rounded player. He, he fit our timeline. He a Tibbs type of player. And next year in the draft, heavy point guard, Van Fleet could just slide right in and play right next to whoever you might draft. Yes. Who Who is a top flight guard, a young guy. You don't got to worry about, oh, we got this guy now. What are we going to do with him? Van Fleet is well-rounded and yeah. proved he could play in the backcourt with another point guard if need to be. Yep. And that's one of the reasons why I don't want them to move Frank because – our fan base want us to bring all of these guys in, these great guys, even the realistic. But with Frank, Frank could play with anybody. Mm-hmm, he could mm-hmm. play defense. He could come in. He could change the pace of the game. He's a winning player. He just got to get other winning players around him, and we'll be fine. And um, that's pretty much all I got for tonight. Okay. Th- thanks for the call, man. And I agree with his points, man. Um, with, Van, with Van Fleet, he gives you positional versatility, JL, is where – 
yeah, he could run him out at the point, even though off ball is probably his, his strength, right? Right. So yeah. it gives you some positional versatility if you need to go get a point guard, if you need to bring him off the bench, so on and so forth. So I think Fan Fleet would definitely be a good pickup. We'll see how much because it looks like the Raptors are ready to give him north of 20. Yeah. Looks like he's, he's going to cash out in a little bit. So, um, exactly. yeah, definitely going to expect the bag. Definitely. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to give him around like 25 or 25 yeah. or something, yeah. which is a little shocking to me. So for the Knicks to beat the Raptors, they're going to have to give him what? Damn near max? Yeah, basically. <laughs> They'll have to max him out. And yeah. uh, that's a lot. It's a lot. I know the Knicks want Van Vliet. He's an offense and defensive guard. My thing, my, my, my only trepidation mm-hmm. with Van Vliet is Yo, we have these guys in Ob Toppin and Mitch, who are divers on the pick and roll, and he's not necessarily like the the loud guy, you know. He's a 50th percentile. He's average. He's league average. Gotten better over the years. Right. League average. The height is an issue. The height is definitely an issue there. This is why he his finishing numbers are pretty atrocious. Um, again, his pick and roll scoring numbers, while they are increasing, he's just about league average. So again, you know, Vance Fleet's strength is is off ball. He's an off ball right. spot up shooter, and so. But listen, I, I think he deserves a bag from Toronto, man. He came up through the system. He paid his dues. He was a, he was a, a integral part of that championship uh, run, and so yeah, give it to him. Once Lowry leaves, you you move in Van Fleet, you move in Malachi Flynn, and and uh, yeah, Knicks Knicks will have uh, Jeff Teague, and and we'll see see what exactly. Happens. And keep your eye on DJ Augustine too, man. DJ yeah. Augustine, low key, low key. When he was healthy, seventy fifth percentile in pink and roll. Yeah, and can bomb the three. I know he had a down there last year, but if you look the years before that, mm-hmm. he hit from the three point line seven times, forty percent. Agreed. 40%. So Agreed. he can bring something to the Knicks, yeah. but um, it seems like he's getting some some. He's getting some looks. He's getting some looks around the league, so there might be some Yes, well, who's the team that uh, it was out on Twitter a little while ago? There was a team interested in DJ Augustine. Milwaukee. Milwaukee Bucks yes. were said to be interested in DJ Augustine. So we shall see um, where that ends up. Yeah, we cannot beat the Bucks. Yeah, we shall <laughs> see where that ends up. Looks like Serge is going to Brooklyn. No surprise there. No surprise at all. Is that a done deal? Because no, I heard it, to, to Toronto, he might stay in. I heard when he might stay in Toronto. Okay. But then I heard KD's brother say right. that he's going to Brooklyn. So yeah, I don't know how, how the source is KD's brother. KD's brother said he's going to Brooklyn. What Woj is saying among contenders, uh, aggressive early pursuit for Surge out of Toronto. Raptors have strong interest in keeping and keep him too. Okay. All right, 50-50. Yeah, he Woj didn't say the team's trying to get him out of Toronto. He just said there's an aggressive surge to get him there. Aggressive, aggressive pursuit, okay. aggressive pursuit to get Serge out there. Did you write that or okay? Nah. Aggressive surge. <laughs> nah. for, he goes right yeah. for Wolves. <laughs> now they they also said the Knicks were interested in uh, in KCP, Contavious Caldwell Pope. I can't see him leaving the Lakers. You know, LeBron is his agent, aka Rich Paul. They're trying to do business. You know, as yeah. they should. Yeah, I don't see it either, man. I, I mean, I, man, I'd rather Kate Dot if you're gonna get. Uh, Pope, yeah, <laughs> I'd rather resign Dot. Like, to me, like, Pope is cool, but he's not like a world beater to me. I would like, I'd rather keep Dot, yeah. I, th- I think Pope ends up staying in, yeah, LA for sure. So, to everybody in the chat, let's see who's in uh, team hashtag new in the chat. We got Reggie McDowell, what up, Reggie? Bam, yo, we got Vaskin Marcarin checking in from Austin, Texas. Shout out, Cashwell. What do go da pitia? Okay. okay. All right. I'm going to try, JL. I'll try to hope I ain't butcher his name <laughs> too much, man. David Lansing, what's going on? My guy Oz checking in from Australia. Salute to everybody in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, All right. We, we, yeah, we have you out there, man, in Australia. Jose Pena, what's going on? Elvin Alcazar, what's going on? K. Simon, how you feeling? Uncle Craze, Paulie F21, what's going on? Uh, who you got in your chat, JL? Oh, hashtag new DJ Thunder. Shout out to you. Hashtag old Big Oso. Shout out to you too. Okay. <laughs> Big Oso, what's going on, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out to everybody in the chat. Anthony Barker, 
Brooklyn Charlie showing much love to you as well. Uh, Hinton Murphy. Mm-hmm. I, I saw Fritz in here a little bit earlier. Brooklyn Charlie. Shout out to everybody, man. Yep. HB Mac. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Abraham, what's going on, bro? Hey, what's going on, fellas? I'm a big fan of the show. Die hard Nick fan since 92. Nice. Okay. Um, that was a good year. 92 was a good year, bro. I, I, I think that Patrick Ewing curse is over. <laughs> because I have this feeling that, um, you know, for the first time I watched the draft, that we draft somebody and the reaction was not negative. Every year, like every time we draft somebody, the saying is, who in the world is this? You know, for the first time is excitement. We have young guys coming in, and I am really excited over the guys that the Knicks is going to bring in. Very excited. You know, and my guy that I want, I want Van Bleek, just by, you know, what I saw in the finals mm. against Golden State, even though it was, you know, without KD, but still, mm. you know, he played against one of the best guards in the league against Stephen Curry, and he played pretty well. You know, so we need somebody that can score, that can play some defense, shoot some threes, and we have to, you know, get with the times, get with, you know, start bringing some, you know, offense with the Knicks. Yeah. You know, because we has been the laughing stock for the Knicks for all these years now. And it's time to, you know, run with some young legs. That's just my opinion. That's a fact. That's, that mm-hmm. is a fact. I mean, look, you know, listen, we, we know Van Fleet can help us. That's There's no doubt about that. I just think he ends up back in Yeah, so that's Toronto. pretty much what all I got to say. Oh, the show. Yeah. Okay. Love the good work. All right. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree you can help us. I mean, that's why I was so headstrong on trying to get Kira here, even though, I mean, at eight, I'm super happy with Obi Toppin. That's not what I'm saying at all. Yeah. Because I knew that it was going to be a struggle to get a Van Vliet here. And, and there's, there's, the well is kind of dry afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the well is kind of dry afterwards. You're just kind of looking at DSJ like, Okay, well, let's just try again. I guess like that's yeah, that's the yeah. feeling we get in right now. Well, listen, it, it, that's I mean, hey, it, it, for you guys that want to fade for Cade, as we said on on SNY, this is the process right here. So you're gonna have to go through it. But as my guy Jay from Florida said, we're in December, right back in in June. So let's just see what they bring in. Hopefully, they bring in a vet. They may bring in a Teague. Who's gonna play the three? Is it gonna be Kevin Knox? Is it gonna be Carmelo? Who knows? Mm-hmm. And and just go for it, man. Just go for it. Be another losing season. Hopefully, your your kids improve, and then you get back into the draft and and see where see where you go. A better free agent class as well. And I, I think they're handling it well. Let's see. Um, let's check the wire and see what's going on. So to everybody in the chat, two thousand in the chat. We are rolling, J Ellis. The momentum for the draft has not eased up. That people want Nick's news, that people want to hear the rumors, and they want to hear that all season talk. Um, Absolutely. You know, Jamal, uh, I forgot who the last call was. I think it was Jamal, but he mentioned that the curse is over. That, you know, nobody booed Obi. Well, nobody booed because nobody was there. <laughs> I was thinking that. So, I didn't want to put, I didn't want to burst the bubble. Yeah. <laughs> nobody booed him because nobody was in the building. Exactly. You know? Uh, uh, statistics Twitter. <laughs> boo half of statistics twitter booed man analytic twitter i'm sorry half of an anal- analytic twitter booed but um i was yeah. definitely happy that ob came and, and he's here right now i don't care if he's old as hell at 22 years old i'm glad <laughs> listen that, that, as i said on the show at begley when you come out of the draft with the college basketball player of the year at the eighth pick that's a valuable pick that's a value pick right there and and so Listen, the kid wants to be here. He wants to embrace the city. He wants to embrace the challenge. Let's go with it. In a draft full of question marks, you have a kid that you know is going to be ready to go day one. Let's go. Exactly. Let's go. And, and my thing is, is this. It's like, oh, my thing is, so what? He's 22. Everybody is saying he is the most ready prospect in the draft. Mm-hmm. At 22, if this man is giving you 15 to 18 points a game, and only costing you five mil. Right. Is and that a value. win <laughs> or a, a lose? That's value, man. That is value. Like, yeah. Costing us five mil for like yeah. four years, dropping 15 to 18 a game? Let's go. And y'all mad. Let's go. Come on, son. Listen, again, <laughs> he, he wasn't in my top five, but that that's fine, man. 
That's fine. I'll, I'll be... Uh, I'm an optimist when it comes to the offseason. Until I see these kids play, man. I got to see these kids play. I'm tired of just, you know, continuing to grade them and, you know, he's trash, he's a bust, he's this, he's that. Let let the thing marinate and, and see where uh, the chips fall. That That's my perspective on it. Uh, let's go to... Carmelo from New York wants to talk trade for Lonzo. Is this Carmelo or Camelo? DJ Carmelo? <laughs> DJ Carmelo. Carmelo, Carmelo, what's going on, bro? How you feeling? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We here. Go ahead with your point, bro. Yeah, um, I think Lonzo's the pick mm. for the free agency. I think we need to just trade for him. You know, um, Van Vliet. I don't see it working with Obi Toppin and Mitch, you know, like for like throwing the lobs and stuff. I feel like Lonzo's a lockdown defender. I feel like Lonzo would be perfect for New York right now. Okay. So he's throwing his hat in the Lonzo ring. I, I understand his uh his justification for sure. You know, Van Fleet might not be um the perfect point guard in terms of you know facilitating and and uh getting the ball around but you know he certainly has his skill sets that he can bring to it Lonzo would be a more uh typical floor general if you will jails and so now the pelicans are now uh have eric bledsoe they have george hill they have kyra lewis sorry knicks fans they got kyra and zion running and gunning out there and brandon ingram and jj reddick but anyway could Lonzo Ball be leaving New Orleans? You know, does what? How does Lavar feel that the Pelicans have stacked the point guard depth chart with Lonzo in it? Uh, he could be making some noise to try to get out of there. It wouldn't be a bad, uh, um, you know, pickup if they could get him on a low ball deal and just bring him in here for the one year left and see how he responds. Wouldn't be bad at all, J. So I wouldn't be averse to it. I absolutely. I would be happy to have Lonzo here as well at this point. Um, he improved his jump shot. Over time, hopefully that can carry over if we're able to get him. Um, and just gives you everything. Gives you seven assists, seven rebounds, plays defense, and can pass. Yeah. Doesn't blow you away in any, any other, other regard, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. We have Obi Toppin for that. We have RJ. And we have Mitch to, to throw lobs to. So especially works out if you get somebody like Gordon Hayward. Then you're like, all right, Alonzo, RJ. Hayward, I think stay away from Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm good on Gordon Hayward. I didn't even know the caller was still there, but <laughs> salute <laughs> like, to Camelo. <laughs> salute to Camelo <laughs> for still listening. Yeah, but yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go the Hayward route, man. Let him go <laughs> home to Indy. Who would you go? Who would you go for small forward, if any? Or you, <sighs> let's go, Kev. Let's just go. Mm, that's let's go, that's, Reggie Bullock. That's dangerous. Reggie Bullock. That's dangerous. Reggie Bullock. Honestly, if they can't get Beasley, I would get Beasley and move RJ to the three. Mm-hmm. Bullock, I think Bullock could be a stopgap. I think he could definitely be a stopgap. You probably, I think you could see, I could see a Teague, RJ, Bullock, Toppin, Mitch. Not not gang beaters, but I could see it. I could see it. I, I could I mean, see it. Uh, the Teague defense scares me too. Like I really want some yeah. defense on that point guard position now that we have top in here to kind of balance things out. Not, not gonna get everything this offseason, man. That's just, I know. That's just I know. I know. But I, I am. I am for the Malik Beasley train. I'm on that train. Yeah. Twenty points, average twenty points a game last season. That little short season, three point sniper. I want to see what he can do with a full season. If if he stays out of trouble, go get him. You know I mean, he was in trouble last month, so. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, if I'm saying if he clears that up, if he clears that up, yeah. he's been out of trouble for one month. CP, he's like, I guess if, you can go. He clear, get if he clears that up, go get him. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we said swipe of the fox, five year, 163 million with a clause to reach almost 200 million dollars. J. Ellis, get that bag, swipe. Wow, swipe or stay swiping, man. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, yeah, Swiper, stay swiping. Derek Favors goes back to the Jazz. They had missed him all year, so that was a reunion that was destined to happen. Okay, reunited. <laughs> it says Dwight Howard <laughs> continues to consider all his options. No deal done. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight got the ring, now he wants to be the manic. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Christian Wood going? That's I'm the curious. thing. 
Detroit Piston first move out the gate is from yeah. the Plumley brother. They jumped out the window for Plumley, man. Yeah. <laughs> no love for wood pause like what do we yeah, do super pause but yeah they jumped out the window for christian wood man wow i mean not christian wood plumley plumley they gave plumley three years 25 million dollars and then they doubled back with another another woes bomb that uh, uh jaleel okafor was going to detroit mm-hmm. how you like that first day of free agency jaleel okafor is making headlines before the yeah. next. Look at Ooh. that. That's ugly, man. Is it a sign that Christian Wood does not want to be there? Because you would think if they were going after Christian Wood, he would be the first domino to fall. Well, I did see some like rumblings around signing trades going on with the Hayward deal, but uh, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. So I did also see some notes on Twitter that even though the Plumley deal went down, it wasn't to suggest that um, Wood wouldn't be still on Detroit's radar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, Christian Wood is another guy that's going to come into to that bag, man. He stepped his game up. He was a journeyman for a couple of years, had some some trouble finding a landing spot. I mm-hmm. remember watching him in Summer League when Kevin Knox and Mitchell Robinson were drafted. And I was like, damn, we got Mitch. I would love to get Christian Wood as well, man, because the kid was dominating in Summer League. And then he kind of fell under the radar for like two more years. And then this year, or for like another year, and then this year he came out onto the scene. But then he started bombing from three. Yeah, that's what that's what happens. That three gets you the bag, man. He always he was like you said, he was under the radar. Um, you know, when you when you're playing behind people like Anthony Davis, you're not going to get that much opportunity to shine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, we saw him shine once um Detroit kind of imploded. They traded away all their pieces, Blake Griffin went down, it was his time to shine. And all of a sudden he's averaging close to 2010 as mm-hmm. a lead man. I mean the, the the danger with Christian Wood was always it was a short window. Yeah. So to give him a big bag because of that short window, a la Julius Randle would be a little bit scary. It's it's tough to trust. Mm-hmm. It's tough to trust. Exactly. You know. I mean, we trusted Julius Randle for the short window. Yeah, we did, and and it, and it burned us. And like I said, it, it not his fault. Just wasn't his role here. You know what I mean? Just wasn't his role here. So. We'll see where uh, Christian Woodlands and and how much he gets on the open market if he doesn't exactly. go back to Detroit. Exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, if Detroit already has, they got Blake under contract, massive contract. You signed Plumlee to a bag. Now you got Jaleel Okafor. It's a little weird. Like, you know what I mean? Is Blake going yeah. somewhere? Somebody got to go. Detroit is the one that's stacking up on power forwards now. How you like that? Uh, exactly. I don't see no jokes happening what's up with yeah that? right 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 I'm, to be honest I, I really don't i don't know what detroit does sometimes when when they got blake griffin there i was thinking what are they doing they look crazy that's mm-hmm. going to explode in their face and that's exactly what just happened yeah <laughs> they are saying now that harry giles is uh gonna be a free agent jls he's another guy that oh, was saw? on my radar as well young harry giles could be on the move. Sacramento is expected to part ways with Harry Giles. Okay, okay. What is yeah. he like a second year guy, right? Harry Giles, he came in, I believe, the same draft as Fox, if I'm not mistaken. I just I gotta double check that. I think Harry Giles came in the same same draft as as uh as Fox, but hey, he could be he could be a um a nice pickup for them. A nice cheap pick up for the Knicks. I, I wouldn't mind it. I would not mind seeing Harry Giles in orange and blue because that could be a nice reclamation project for him. Yeah, I mean, Mitch couldn't use a backup for sure. Um, if, if they're trying to move on from Taj Gibson, I'm not sure if they can convince Tom Thibodeau not to re-sign Taj Gibson on the cheap. But maybe he, we can at least get him in the building to kind of push Mitch and Taj and challenge them for a spot there. So yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not you know, I'm not shy. I'm not. I'm cool with him coming on at the end of the bench and um causing some ruckus. Doesn't have the athleticism that he once had, um coming off of some ACL surgeries and whatnot. But again, serviceable player, underrated passer as well. And just need. I think he just needs a little bit more seasoning, Jails. I think he just needs a little bit more coaching. 
and and this could be um, with Kenny Payne in here with Tom Thibodeau. I think this could be a, a good situation for young Harry Giles. I think this could be a good situation for young Harry Giles. What do you guys think in the chat, man? Harry Giles, would you go after him? I think it could be a, a, a small deal. I don't think that would be a costly deal for, for Harry Giles. Yeah, right? I'm for it. Yeah. I'm definitely for it. Yeah, why not? I don't think they end and up keeping that Davis anyway, so. Yeah, they are, yeah, I feel like they're trying to package him yeah. in a deal somewhere. Bring back Kenny Wooten. How about that? Bring back Kenny, man. Let's hear from my guy, Los Maine in North Carolina. What's going on, bro? What's up? What's up? You hear me? Yeah, loud and clear, bro. Go ahead. Hey, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Gordon Hayward. I want to know what do y'all think the Knicks should do? Do y'all think they should sign and trade for him or just sign him straight up from uh, free agency? And I'm 50 50. I, I don't think they should sign him. I think they should just stick with the young guys and just go ahead and build from there. And my second question before I go is uh, who do y'all prefer? The Knicks to uh, take in fear to see as far as point guards. Do y'all think they should go for uh, Van Fleet, uh, Ray John Rondo, or do y'all think they should just stick with the young guys, DSJ, Frank, and those guys? And hey, that's all I got to say. I'm out and I'm I'm listening. To you. Peace, bro. Peace, bro. Appreciate Peace. all the support, man. Los May never misses a show. Um, Hayward, I had said I would pass. I would think if if they go after him, just go just go sign for him. Don't don't trade anything. Don't don't yeah. help Boston, especially and, right now. Yeah, yeah, don't don't help Danny Ainge. Forget them. Hell no. And so yeah, so we'll we'll see what happens. I, there's no updates yet on the Hayward situation. Seems like that's that's a domino. The league is waiting to fall before a lot of other moves get made. So let's we'll see what happens there. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens there. And like you said, we're not trying to get Van Vliet. I mean, we're trying to get Van Vliet, possibly. Mm -hmm. Don't see it happening. Don't see Jeff T coming. I feel like Jeff T doesn't wasn't really messing with Tom Thibodeau when he was with the Timberwolves. Well, he said what I mean. He Teague had an issue with um, Teague had an issue with the playing time. Right, he came out and kind of threw him under the bus a little bit, but he also endorsed him. He also endorsed Tibbs as the coach, so I think that was just you know when you in when you're in the midst of the battle, you're tired, you want out. He he kept it a book. I don't I don't think it was anything demeaning or or you know adversarial between them. Okay, I just think he he, he probably just had an issue with the playing time, and and so I'm not sure if, if that would you know um, be a detriment to him signing here. Hey, money talks, Jay Ellis. <laughs> so, money does. To money so does. Listen, you know, money does a couple talk. extra M's on that check will make him forget about all those, uh, two a days and all of that, you know? Nah, I feel you. So, so when I was doing the research on him, though, it was like, I think they had like some issues on the defensive schemes as well. He feels like Tom took too long to adjust mm. to the defensive schemes, mm -hmm. but I mean, they adjusted eventually. So I don't know when I look, it look, it seems like DJ Augustine was, was bigging him up, Tom up heavy. So I feel like if we go after Augustine, he he would co come here first. Yeah, Jeff Teague, I'm not sure. I'm sure they're on Nick's radar just because mm -hmm. you know he's worked with Tom before. But uh, I'm not a huge I'm not a huge on Teague right now. Me I'm neither. Not, he's he's, he's done his days, man. He's done his days. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I would put my order as I would still put Teague first, just because. I'm not the biggest fan of small guards, even though I do like Van Fleet. I'm not the biggest fan of small guards. I would still go with Teague first, Augustine, because of the shooting ability, and then Rondo uh, last. If, you know, in, in terms of the vets. I in terms I would, of vets? Yeah, I would go that route. I would go that route. Somebody in the chat said George Hill. I feel like George Hill kind of did his days too, man. Yeah, George Hill was was dope like a few years ago, yeah. but not today. I feel like George Hill kind of did his days, but I, yeah. as a floor general, I think Teague and Rondo would serve the best, would be the best options. There's Rondo just doesn't give you as much off ball shooting as you would like. It's funny because he's improved. He has. He has. He has that's why improved. I kinda, yeah, that's why I kind of said that kind of carefully because he has. He had improved. All right, to me, I have Augustine over Teague in my brain. Okay. I have Augustine over Teague in my brain. Dying later last year, but I just I just trust the three-point shot more from Teague. Yeah. I mean, I mean from from uh, Augustine. Mm -hmm. 
and I still feel like he's a good pick and roll guard, and he could be dynamic. I feel like he he, he did he did his thing in Orlando for a few years. So. Yeah, he did. He, he, he did. He did. So to everybody so, in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. 2,500 on the check-in. Let's go. Love to see it. Um, again, welcome to everybody who's just checking in for the first time. This is CP from Knicks Fan TV. My man, Jay Ellis, on the other side. Number one show for the fans, by the fans, Knicks, NBA, whatever the case is. Remember, these shows are available in audio podcast format. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Alexa, Google Play, Stitcher, all podcast platforms. So you have no excuse to miss it. We're going to read off the Super Chats. We appreciate everybody for sending Super Chats, but we want to let you guys know that if, if you know, financial situation is, is uh, not good for you right now, there's three ways you can support this show. Number one, hit that like button whenever you come in. Hit the thumbs up button. It goes a long way. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a show and share these videos. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Text your friend, your family, if they're a Knicks fan, NBA fan, and they don't know about this show. Those are the three ways to continue to support us for absolutely free, but it goes a long way in helping us build out this platform, and that way you see better content, you see better guests. And the ball continues to snowball. So it's a it's a movement for the fans by the fans. So with your support, we we can take this thing anywhere, man. So that that was my spiel, JL. So you have anybody in the chat you want to shout out? Yeah, man. And shout out to NY Slim Yachty. Well, shout out to you, my guy over here representing NY. Yes, sir. Shout out to Mellows Island. You want Mellow back? Me? Shout out to so I already me. know your answer. I don't even know why. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Will from LI, shout out to you. He's Will asking about Rondo. We just talked about him. Yep. It's funny because Rondo can't shoot. So it's like he's still going back to that same problem. Yeah. Can yeah. I get a guard in here that can shoot? That's yeah. all I want to run for Christmas. As a point guard, I can shoot. It would it would be tough, <laughs> man. It would be tough. Would be but tough. listen, Rondo's a vet, Rondo's a leader. Um, I think he end up, ends up with the Clippers. I see it too. Yeah. Yeah. My, shout out to Rick Rowe too and Kenny Kenny Die Hard Knicks man. Shout out yeah. to you. All right. Shout out to you guys. Josh Jackson going to Detroit. So Detroit is loading up. Josh Jackson. Josh the Jackson. Former fourth, or fourth overall pick. Remember, remember Phil wanted him for, uh, instead of I was just about to say that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was just about to say that. Nope. That would have been the mutiny. Josh. We- Jackson <laughs> and Detroit fan Crispy Flakes. He's an NBA 2K YouTuber. Just said, "What are we drinking tonight in Detroit?" <laughs> I do not know, but Detroit just found the power forward uh, gem. If this was the Avengers, oh, man. Leon dropped it off. <laughs> so this, we don't, this we don't was want the this. Knicks, Lord, Lord, <laughs> the <laughs> the Steve that Mills be happy power again. forward gemstone has been picked up. By the Detroit Pistons, <laughs> and they're going forward. Oh, Blake man. Griffin, Jaleel Okafor, mm. Miles Mason Plumley, collecting all the gems. <laughs> they're oh, collecting just... all the power forward gemstones. Just snap your fingers, it's over. Oh something. man, <laughs> man, oh man. Who's who's the GM of Detroit these days? Who's who's running that show? Steve Mills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, man! Hey, like I say, I'm I'm proud to be a Knicks fan. It could always be worse. Dave from Long Island, what up, Dave? How you doing? What up, man? What up, man? What's going on, CP? What's going on, Jay? How you doing? All Good, right. man. What's going on? Not much, man. Listen, I was watching the uh, the draft with you guys the other night. I'm feeling good about the direction of the team. It feels good, you know, for the first time in a long time to kind of feel confident in the direction of the front office, and not just the front office, but, like, you know, the young core that we got going. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm really happy with the decisions that they made. Um, you know, the only worry I have right now is what we're going to do at point guard, um, you know, because the talent that we have, we definitely need to get some sort of a floor general to kind of make it all work and come together. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm fine with the, you know, DJ Augustine or, you know, Jeff Teague, you know, that's, those are good, you know, stopgap point guards that I think would be, you know, nice decisions in the meantime. Uh, I want to know, though, what you guys thought about maybe going after, a, you know, Alonzo Ball. You know, he's, uh, 
I don't think he would command too much to, to get, you know, because mm-hmm. they got a, a glut of point guard right now going over there at the Pelicans. You know, they just got uh, Kira Lewis Jr., the guy I wanted at eight with, uh, with J.L. as I was on that bandwagon. But, you know, that's a good pick for them. But that's also somebody that, you know, they're probably going to see as their future guy. Yeah, So I what does so. that do for Lonzo? You know, he might be the odd one out. The only thing with him, you know, I think he fits our team great. I think he's a good defensive type player that, you know, Tibbs would like. He's not someone who's going to overly look to score the ball, which is nice because he's a great playmaker with great, you know, vision who can help out OB and Mitch. You know, RJ set them up really well. Uh, and he's not a bad shooter either, which, you know, would help us space the floor. The only thing I have a problem with is trying to figure out, I guess, like a trade that will work to yeah. get him. You know, I, yeah, right. you know, the only thing I could think of is since they got so many point guards, they're not going to take a, a DSJ. Nah. So the only thing I could think of would be like maybe some sort of a Randall Knox situation deal. But I think with Lonzo, he would probably command a pick in there, I'm guessing, too. Um, but, you know, for me, I, personally, if, if it was like a pick, Knox and like, I don't know, a Randall situation, I think I might pull the trigger on that. Um, at this point, though, I'm just looking to get Randall out of here. If he's not <laughs> out of here by tomorrow morning, I'm going to have an ulcer, dude. <laughs> at this point, I take a freaking chopped cheese and a bacon, egg, and cheese for him, but nah. I, I don't even think I'd get that. I'd probably get a bag of Doritos at this point. So, oh, my God. You know what? We'll, we'll see what, what happens, but you know, that's all I want to say, you know. Hit the, hit the thumbs up button in the chat, guys. Hit the thumbs up button in the chat, Dave. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up. We're at 700 likes on Knicks Fan TV. Let's get up to 1,000. Let's get up to 1,000 likes tonight and uh, go from there. Yeah, listen, Lonzo, Lonzo wouldn't be a bad, you know, stopgap pickup. Um, but the reality is, again, we're, we're not going to – this is this is not the year where we're going to solve everything. Just, just realistic. You know, just being realistic. I feel this, you. This is, but not that, I mean, this is not the year. I feel you, but he, he raises the questions though. With them drafting Kiro, what does that mean for Lonzo? It means he could be had at a price for sure. And, I, and my thing with the Pelicans is they G, that GM over there. They always he gets over. <laughs> you know, he gets over. He he always. David Griffin. Yeah, he yeah, has yeah. a reputation of just. Yeah, he's he's everything. not catching else. He's not catching. David Griffin is not catching else. So. He, yeah. You're going to have to give him a piece that they can work with. Um, because, he, again, he doesn't have to trade him. But if they make enough noise, I'm sure they would acquiesce. Exactly, exactly. So yeah. just even engaging in trade talks with him makes me a little bit nervous. Yes, I, I agree. With you. David Griffin is not a slouch at all. Um, salute to everybody in the chat once again. Somebody said my guy Crispy Flakes was in the chat. Salute to my guy Crispy Flakes, man. NBA 2K YouTuber. I was on his channel uh, back in the day, I think last year we did a we did a collab. So salute to him. I know he's right. going through it right now. The Detroit Pistons have just picked up the power forward stone, oh, and they're man. going for it, Jay Ellis. They're going for it. Flashiest Knicks. Yeah. Oh, power forward starting five. <laughs> <laughs> Randall at the point. <laughs> Jaleel Okafor was the splash. Mason Plumley splash. Woo. Damn, that's tough, man. Detroit basketball. So to Rasheed Wilds, that's my guy. That's our guy, Jails. You know that. Yeah, that's our guy. Don't mm-hmm. hate us, Rasheed. <laughs> yes, sir. That is definitely our guy. Um, I'm just checking the news wire here. See what's going on. All right, T. Then Let's don't check. see anything from Woj. Don't check see anything from Shams. Quiet is is quiet. Does quiet, yep. quiet, quiet. Yep. Don't don't see anything. Uh, let me read some of the super chats in the chat. So to everybody again, we're at eight hundred and twenty likes. We have twenty five hundred people. That ratio just does not add up. Hit that like button. Hit the thumbs up button, people. Let's get this thing going. Let YouTube know the number one show for the fans by the fans is in the building. <laughs> what are you reading? I'm reading a super chat question mm-hmm. <laughs> from DS Please thirty five. Mm-hmm. If Obi played Zion one on one, who you got? <laughs> oh, man. man. Well, which which Zion? You know, which, which Zion? What do you mean with Zion? College Zion or twenty games in NBA? No, Zion? thirty pounds heavier Zion, or <laughs> 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 because hit that whole thing with him, man, is seems like a headache, man. That is one tough. Uh, situation that they got going on there. Like, how are they going to keep him in shape and yeah. keep his weight down? 
That's crazy, man. I hope Zach. I hope he I hope he sticks, man. I want to see Zion with some some longevity in the league, you know. <laughs> they might have to put him on keto, man. What's that? They might have to put him on keto. Yeah, they might have to, man, because the whole thing with the bubble and it was like, yo, y'all had three months off. Like, how is Zion not in shape? What was my man doing? Eating Oreos, playing two K, Fortnite, or something? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then something just didn't add up with me, man. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna go Obi because Obi ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Obi brings Zion and catch the fade. Although, I mean, it's evenly matched because Obi don't really – Obi skips leg day, you know? And, yeah. And yeah. Zion is kind of, he- kind of heavy. Yeah. So I can, I can see Zion killing him in the post, and that might be a problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to he's gonna maul him in the post. Forget about yeah. it. He's, he'll yeah. he maul Obi in the post. Somebody yeah. in the chat said Robert Randolph said Bertans to the Knicks. I mean – uh, huh. Listen, that dude has been o for one thousand on every <laughs> on every bit of rumors. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he continues to do that on Twitter because every time he does that, he's been wrong. Every time. I don't know, man. Robert Randall got to give it up, man. I, I'm not sure what what his goal is. He just get one right. All you need is one. All you need is one. All you need is one, yeah. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, see? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All you need is one. Once you get one, you can just reference that one. See, I was right. Bird to the Knicks, I called it. You just highlight that. Pin that tweet. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they're saying there is interest between Bird and the Knicks. <laughs> and somebody tweeted me that. he Robert Randolph claims they're working on a deal with Bird I'll believe it when I see it. I don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, I would like Bertans, but at this point, he's not the top priority right now. Right. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be pressed to throw him a bag. <laughs> JB said so. Basically, that means that JB that Bertans is not coming to the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> for real, man. For real, for real. All right, let's see what uh, what's going on on Knicks Twitter. See what Knicks Twitter saying. So to everybody in the chat once again, we'll get to the mm-hmm. phones in a second. All right, JB says, no, no, no. if the Knicks do not have to reach the cap floor until the end of the regular season. So the penalty is simply a surcharge that is spread among the players on the team. Mm-hmm. Knicks could carry space into the season to use later. So, huh. so basically, the cap floor, uh, I believe, is that you need to spend 90% of that. Hmm. Right, you need to spend ninety percent of your cap, and so I maybe this season is a little bit different because what happens is if you don't spend that ninety percent, then they spread that money across the players on the team. I guess whatever the difference is, you know, to make up for the ninety percent. So like all the players get like a little raise. I believe so. If if this is what I'm reading correctly. Oh wow. I believe if I'm so. the players, I'm like, let's keep it. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep, keep it that way, right? Hell yeah. And so they're saying that, uh, oh, Gallo to the Hawks is being reported oh! right now. Danilo Gallinari is going to the Hawks. The Hawks Three. have their wing. The Rooster is going to ATL. Okay. All right. What, what does this mean for Bogdan, though? Because I what don't think this the mean Bogdan, for Bogdan. The Bogdan deal ain't done. The, the Bogdan deal is not done, JLs. What does it mean for Bogdan? Good question. That means Bogdan, Bogdan might, might be in play. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say it's impossible. Bogdan is definitely in play. So the Hawks, who were rumored to be interested in. In uh, in Gordon Hayward, they were rumored to be interested in Joe Harris. They wanted the wings, Jay Ellis, and mm-hmm. they finally got him. And his name is the Rooster, Danilo Gallinari. All How you right. like that, man? You got Trey Young. Yeah. You got Danilo. You got like Cam it. Reddish stepping his game up. And he stays away from Dallas. I like that, too. And he stays away from Dallas. And you got Okongu at the center, J- J- uh, John Collins. Well, yeah, nice pickup for the Hawks, mistakes. man. Nice pickup for the Hawks. I can't lie. Not, very nice pickup for the Hawks, man. 
Very nice picking for the mm-hmm. Hawks. That's gonna be a fun team to watch. Hopefully, um, oh, we not even gonna be playing them like that this season because of the of the way the new uh, the right. new uh, season is is led up. So, right, I can right. enjoy them without having them beat up on us. That's just that's just up. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it was interesting because Gallo said he wanted to play for a contender. True, he said winning meant a lot to him. So this is this is rich. Ah. Uh, Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's rich. Three year, $61 million, J. Ellis. Woo! That means 20. Woo. 20 point something CP per year. 20 bags. To lose. Hey, that's a lot of winning. That's a lot of winning at Magic City. <laughs> he is City, winning. Man. He's winning. <laughs> He's winning at Chase. That's, that's, sure. that's a lot of lemon pepper wings at Magic City for the rooster. Oh, yeah. You know what that's I mean? a lot of tips. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of tips for the roost. Pause. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. Gallows, Gallows going to the Hawks. Good for him. Good for you. Good, good for him. The rooster, uh, with, the rooster with the Hawks. That's yeah, what's up. Dwight Howard <laughs> taking his talents to Philadelphia. Okay, so news is coming uh-huh. in hot and heavy. All right, he's he's taking his championship pedigree to Philly. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, good for him. I don't really care. But all right, cool. Good for him. <clears throat> He, he, I guess he repaired his image. Yeah. Yeah, I was happy that he won. I was happy that he won, you know? I was happy that the uh, white got a ring. All right, let's go to the phones. Let's <clears throat> hear from some peeps, man. Let's go to um, Josh, John from Miami. John, what's going on, man? <sighs> All right, you're going. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the Miami fans, they, they keep trying to get through to us, man. But he, and he was waiting for like 40 minutes just to do Damn. something like that. Ari, what's going on, man? Yeah, I don't know. Not know what the hell that guy was doing. <laughs> yeah. <but I> don't, <laughs> I'm good. On this Friday uh, night, I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm good, man. That's creepy, man. <laughs> what's going on, guys? Yeah. Um, what's going on, man? Yeah, so a couple things. Um. I don't. I decided I don't want Fred VanVleet. I just don't want him. Mm. Um, I'm with UCP, man. I don't like short. I don't like short guards, man. Um, that was a big reason why Toronto lost against Boston because they were running Kyle Lowry and Fred VanVleet, and you know you you you, you put you put um, Fred VanVleet in a, in a switch. He can't guard twos. Um, also, uh, you know Kyle Lowry is the leader of that team. He takes a lot of pressure off Fred VanVleet. We got Pascal Siakam. I think we've been down the road before where we got a contender or a very good team's third or fourth best player, made him the best player on our team, and then they failed miserably. That yeah, happened with risk. Tim Hardaway Jr. It's a risk. And that happened with Julius Randle. Um, you know, Fred Van a good player, man. He's great in that system. But, you know, Kyle Lowry takes a lot of pressure off him, and he's not asked to do as much as he would be on the Knicks. I don't think he's capable of doing it, and I wouldn't compromise the cap. He's a good player, but mm-hmm. I'm passing on him. Um, Gordon Hayward is ridiculous. I don't even know why we're even entertaining that. It's not quite as bad as Russell Westbrook because he's going to make half as much money. But why are we going after 30-year-old guys when our whole team is, is young? Why are we going to compromise our future for Gordon? Like, when he's, he's going to put us over the top. He's going to attract a free agent. doesn't make any sense. It makes so, no sense. I don't know why, we, why, why we're even thinking that. Um... So I would pass on that. I like I said last time, I would try to make the Conley deal happen. If that can't happen, I would go with Jeff Teague, DJ Augustine. I would just go with a stopgap. Like I would go with anybody. Um, I'm with the other guy. Um, you know, if I'm chopped cheese, I don't do the Randall trade. I think that chopped cheese is too much for Randall personally. <laughs> um, maybe like a ba- maybe maybe like a bag of of air maybe. <laughs> For, for, for Randall, a, a bag of Chinese polluted air. I would give for Randall. Yeah. Um, God. Maybe. Uh, and then the last thing I want to say, real quick, is um, this Obi Toppin thing. I did not know that he was a six-two point guard as a junior in high school, and I didn't know he grew seven inches as yeah. a senior and in college. He did. So yeah, he's twenty-two years old. But he's a late bloomer. Like, he's developing late. Like, he's not like RJ, who's, like, already a man. He's more like Kevin Knox. He's, like, a, he's growing late. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think because of that, he has point guard skills. And right. I was watching an interview with him. You know, when you're a point guard and then you grow like that, it's, not, it's sort of what happened to Anthony Davis. You know, he could probably do a lot more on the basketball floor than what he showed at Dayton because mm-hmm. he just played in that system and did what they needed to do to win. I think he has a lot more to his game. So I wouldn't say he's a typical 22-year-old because he's a late bloomer. So I'm very happy with that pick also. So that's my take. All right. Pre- appreciate the call, yeah. man. Appreciate the that, call, Lord. Yeah, that's yeah, why I'm does. like – that's why I like Obi, man. Like just the fact that he's a big man that can pass and shoot – because everybody sees the dunks like everybody sees the windmill dunks and they go oh that's all he can do is windmill dunk but you watching him he's like yo he's making these passes yeah like he's a guard like it, capable passer <laughs> capable passer capable passer so i'm like okay there's something there where you can you, you can do something here like mm-hmm. we seen what tom Thibodeau did with, with joe king noah Running, uh, pick and roll, and and passing from the from the foul on top of Keenan, it just opens up everything else when your big man can pass. So, I I like that skill. That's that skill intrigues me a lot. Uh, as big as the dunking and in the, in the running and the shooting. So, yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Woj says interesting on Gallo with the Hawks, most ever on a multi year deal for a thirty plus player without all star experience, bro. <laughs> That's kind of that. That deal is kind of wild, though. They they, they came wild, off kind of desperate on that one for sure. That's yeah. the thing, man. That's the thing with the teams, because you know, Ari was talking about why would you, why would we pay this for this, and why would you pay this for that? And Detroit, Atlanta, <laughs> New York, the teams in the bottom who have the cash space, we're going to have to overpay. You got to overpay. Teams. That's what free agency is. You gotta overpay Un- unless you- you're a guy's hometown or something. Nobody's giving you a discount, right? You gotta pay yeah. up. It's the only way you're getting somebody. Yeah, the only way. The, the, the only, only way, way we get discounts is when we start winning. That's a fact. That's, that that is a fact. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Refreshing, refreshing like a madman. Woes, shams. I got woes on one column. Shams on another. Shams. I got Begley on another. I'm checking my messages. Nothing ringing right now. Nothing ringing, yep. Just more Gallo news. Rodney Hood went to the Portland Trailblazers. Don't care. Where the hood at? All right, Rodney Hood. Okay. Rodney Hood, Troyland Trailblazers. Okay. All right, let's check back on the phone, see what's going on. Let's hear from my guy, um, Joe from Yonkers. Joe, before you get to free agency, uh, I don't think we talked to you during the draft, man. What do you think about the draft and how how it turned out? Um, we didn't force a point guard. I think we took the best guy available, which is as far as a need. We need a stretch four. Um, so I was happy with the draft. Um, also, I was gonna, what I want to talk about was how we're starting. We're, we're trading for a lot of assets, a lot of second-round picks in 2023. And that's going to be the first draft where high school kids come in to then draft have value. And what I'm thinking is, I know you guys aren't going to like it, but I think they're trying to stockpile some assets for Russell Westbrook. Mm. Because I think the OB move was a win-now move. Mm. If, if, they, if they were looking to rebuild like Tibbs would want to rebuild, then they probably would have took a point guard. But Tibbs doesn't want to rebuild. Tibbs is 60 years old. He doesn't want to sit around with him <laughs> for five years yes. to try and rebuild. Yeah, yeah. He wants to go for it now. Yeah. So I think they're going to wait out. Fred Van Vliet, see what happens with him. And if they can't get him or another point guard, they're going to go the Westbrook route. Yeah, I, I agree. That's, that's that's what my thought is. Um, I agree, man. And good point. Good point. I, I think that could be because they are stockpiling some assets. And I think they're just playing the options out, man. From from what Begley said on today's show was that doesn't seem like, you know, the, the Rockets are motivated right now. They're in no rush. And mm-hmm. I think everything plays off of each other. The Harden deal, I think, has a lot to do with the Westbrook deal, right? If they get right. if they trade hard into wherever, to Brooklyn or Philly, maybe they come down on a price. But if they're going to keep James Harden, any trade for Russell Westbrook, they're going to want something that keeps them contending or win, whatever they consider themselves, you know, whatever their goals are in, as far as winning and making the playoffs. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. He's, I, I can not s- just going to low get take a low ball offer for Brody. 
by no means, no chance. I feel I, I understand. At the same time, though, it doesn't seem like there's a market for Bodie right that's now. A, that's that's the, a fact. So it's like I, you, you can ask for what you want. That don't mean I'm on. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> like there's yeah. only but so many teams with cast base, first of all, right now, and that's going up. And then it's like, are we willing to give up multiple picks for a guy who's over 30 and and his athleticism mm -hmm. could be on the downside? I mean, he's a great player for sure, but I mean, he can't he. He can't shoot. He can't shoot. He but, can't shoot, mm -hmm. and he can't shoot. So I don't know. It's a wait and see. I'm glad that we didn't go all in. Yeah. We didn't play this desperate game, and we're just gonna wait it out, man. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully we don't go Westbrook at the end and get desperate. Yeah, I think you know. I just feel like, and 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 Joe has a point. Joe has an excellent point. Yes, yes, they want to compete right now. I just don't see them taking on 40% of their cap in one player as they just got here. I don't know. I could be wrong, JLs. I just don't think that's the route they're going to go unless they get them for the price that they're looking for. Right. I mean, if the, if they have their eye on next season where it's supposed to be the big one, right, then you think they would stay away from a deal like Westbrook because Westbrook's is going to just take up most of the cap and then mm -hmm. there's not going to be that much wiggle room. You're going to have to hope that these other lower assets develop like a Knox or a Frank or something to mm -hmm. even flip something into something bigger. Yeah. If you have yeah. Westbrook going to team. Agreed. Uh, agreed. <clears throat> agreed. So we'll see. So we'll see, man. Time, time will tell, Knicks fans. We are closing in on 3,000 people in the chat. Salute to Knicks Nation. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. This is the NBA free agency show. Number one show for the fans by the fans. CP from Knicks Fan TV. My man JLs from Nick of Time Show. Welcome to everybody on Team Hashtag New. Where's everybody from? Throw your cities in the chat. What countries you're from. Wherever you guys are from. Throw it in the chat. Uh, let's see where you guys are representing. Everybody but those in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> the Heat fans always feel like they're going to throw you off your game. Can't, you can't get us, bro. Can't um, get us. Brody the Builder <laughs> can't get us. Uh, um, Vince Carter was on ESPN. Somebody mentioned in the chat that Vince was on ESPN saying that uh, the Hawks were confident that uh, they were going to get two players out of Danilo, Bogdan, Joe Harris, and Rondo. So maybe it's Danilo, maybe it's Rondo too. Maybe Rondo goes to the Hawks as well. I can't see Rondo going to the Hawks. Yeah, I, mean, I don't yeah, see. But, I mean, if they if, shoot, if they're giving out Danilo bags, I could. <laughs> you go, no, yeah, no, what CP? You know what I mean? You're right. The weather is nice, yeah, nice, yeah. nice wings. You're right. You're right. And, you're right. Ma and Malik Beasley is off the board. He's staying mm. with ah. the Minnesota Timberwolves ah. for four years, sixty million dollars, twenty million a year. For young Malik Beasley. Damn it. Damn. Another one by dust. Come on. Yeah. Call Bogdan. <laughs> that, call that, was, that was my target, man. That was my target. I had heard the Knicks were interested in a sign and trade. Um, didn't go through. Did not go through. Malik Beasley staying with the Minnesota Timberwolves. <sighs> Four years, 60 mil. Yeah, I guess all that legal trouble is not that bad from Malik Beasley, J. Ellis, because mm -hmm. uh, no, they just sir. invested $20 million a year in him. That is surprising. Yeah. That's well, not surprising. for me. They, they, they did say they wanted to uh, pair him up with uh, Edwards. Some, wait, did. somebody said they, he deleted the tweet? Wait, hold on. Hang on, hang on. Did he delete the tweet or no? Twenty million is a twenty million is a lot for a guy who only played fourteen games, man. Yeah, well, it's the Timberwolves. I mean, I, I I think I I I'm not surprised at that offer. To be honest with you, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised. I thought that. it was it would be between fifteen. Actually, I did think it was fifteen. Twenty is kind of steep. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like I thought it was gonna be around fifteen. Yeah. Yep, Malik Beasley going to staying with the Timberwolves. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Who's left on the board? You got Joe <laughs> Harris. <laughs> Joe you got Harris. Joe Harris left on the board. Yeah. Who's you got you Bertans of... on the board? 
you got Bertans left on the board for so yeah. sure. You got Bogdan left on the board. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is a four year sixty. Yeah, so I did think it was fifteen. That's it. Oh, it's fifteen? Yeah, it's fifteen. That's okay, that I makes I more thought sense. fifteen was gonna be the market. So boom. I'm okay, that money. makes okay. I'm on the well, money. Right. I need to be a GM. I'm about to say twenty yeah. is a lot for that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was uh I thought it was three years sixty, it's four years sixty. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. All right, mm -hmm. cool. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so Beasley's going. Any other ideas, JLs? <laughs> uh <laughs> free dot? Free dot. Dotson. <laughs> Dotson, do you want to come back to the Knicks? Can we requalify? You know? Portis, Bobby B. Bobby's Bobby, coming home. Bobby B is coming home. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's bring back Bobby B. Nah, you, you know who's coming home? Carmelo Anthony's coming. Carmelo home. Anthony. Carmelo Carmelo's coming back home. Is that a, is that a Knicks fan TV exclusive? Is that a done deal? Um, no. Well, well, Begley said it, there was mutual interest. Uh. Blazers just kept Rodney Hood. They traded for Canna. Now, I, you know, I don't think that's indicative of, you know, not going after Melo or anything, but they're making moves. And uh, Melo and Cantor back together again. Oof. That defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think Melo Mel could definitely be coming back. Oh, man. Be coming back. Okay, all right. I yeah. mean, yeah. it sounds like a nostalgia thing. Yeah. I thought he was going to work out in Porter. I thought he was going to resign. I thought he'd be, yeah. you know, third call at least. He could still be staying. He could still be staying. Uh, Charles from New York. Charles, what's going on, man? Yeah. I like Melo, but I just think it's the wrong time for Melo to come back to yeah. New York. Charles, what's going on, man? How you doing, bro? I'm good. How are you? Good, right. good. Go ahead with your point. Go ahead. Um, since Beasley's going, I think we should go get Mello. Okay. Why? Why you want Mello back? What, what's your What's your reasons behind it? Well, I felt like he got a bad rap leaving, and we should bring him back. And I feel like he'll fit with what we have right now. And plus, he showed he could still play. Okay. All right. All right. Appreciate, appreciate the call, man. Um, we'll see. Yeah, obviously, Mel, you know, Melo's still doing it. Melo's still doing it. Um, yeah, it I just wouldn't. I, listen, the, the sequel's always, almost always, never better than the original, man. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Can't be better than the original Die Hard. And it's like, the defense is, we need the defense so bad right now with Toppin Neither starting and... Throw. Like we we, unless it's Bubble Mello who lost weight. <laughs> would would Mello come off the bench? You think Mello would come off the bench? P, come on, P, come off the bench. No, hey, Mello ain't coming off the bench. I'm just saying. <laughs> come on. I'm just saying. Talking about coming off the bench. He Mello ain't coming off no damn bench. Is Mello coming off the bench? Mello ain't coming off no damn. Ah, uh, he would be like. If we sign him, he would instantly be one of the most talented offensive players on the team. Like he's he's sure. going to feel entitled to, to take those shots and not pass the ball. And that's what I said. It's not uh, it's not going to bode well for us long term, man. Same reason for us. Yeah, that's what I say. We need somebody who's more willing to give the ball up at this point. Where are we going to go, JLs? Where are we going to go? Bogdan still available. Bogdan still out there. Come on, Bog. Bogdan <laughs> is still out there. Let's let's piss off the Bucks real quick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. For all the calls on the line, man. When when you guys are on, just get get straight to your point, man. Just get straight to your point. We can't have the uh, the caller delay. You know, I, I do my best to to facilitate that. Make sure you guys are on. We could always hear you as soon as you get on. Just go straight to it. All right, let's go to our big Kev from Mount Vernon. Kev, what's going on? Hey, what's up, fellas? How y'all doing, man? Good, man. How's um, everything? I, I know you said this 
people at the CP. I want to first tell you, man, I love your character. I love the show. And I think that you guys are going to go far. And you actually inspired me. Now I'm out of the music business. I'm going to get into this, uh, this YouTube business. But to the, uh, to the point of um, the point guard thing, um, I'm with you, man. I, I'm not really a big fan. I, I think Van Dien is, a, is a, he's good. But he's not a, he's not gonna he's not gonna move the needle. He's not a game changer, you know. Like he's not a Chris Paul on the short side, you know, of the ball. But he's not even a, a Muzzy Bogues. Like those guys are game changers. He's short and he's not, you know. I like the the, the, the Lonzo balls of the world and those guys who can see over the defense and mm-hmm. who's playmakers, you know. And I think he's just one one player away of having a good team and. um that's all I got to say. I don't want to hold you up. Um, Jay Ellis, CP, keep up the good work. Thank you. And um, since the last time you're going to hear from me, I'll be calling again, man. But much love to you, man, and stay safe. Respect, Big Kev. Thanks for the love, man. Definitely appreciate it. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, listen, there's, there's an argument that can be made against the shorter point guards. Um, I'm definitely leery of it, but Van Fleet. He, he's he got that moxie to him, Jay Ellis. He's got that big he game flair to him. Again, does that translate, does that transfer with him if he leaves the Raptors? Uh, but it looks like, did he sign with them or no? Let's see. Money in the chat said uh, he's signing with them. This is this is making me a little even more like upset that we didn't draft like draft a, a Malachi Flynn or somebody, man. Even though Malachi Flynn is, is short too. So I know you, that won't be your, your guy. But yeah. he gives you the threes. He gives you the pick and roll, and he gives you the defense. Who knows the defense translate at the NBA level, but he at least he's going to hawk you full court. And I feel like we would have something that I know is going to be steady. Yeah. Somewhere. But it's I, like. I, I thought we should have, uh, we should have tried to get somebody, you know, in, in, but, on that draft. I didn't, I didn't think they should have punted on 33. I understand it, but I still think they should have taken somebody. Right, the, the only thing that makes me think is maybe they have, uh, that much faith in Jared Harper, who they're going to put on a two-way, or they have that much faith in DSJ if the things goes wrong. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I can really think of right now. Damn. Or, they just, or they just know DJ Augustine is coming to save the day. I want a Beasley, man. Uh, I'm yeah, man. I, Me I too. I definitely want a Beasley. According to Frank Isola, Christian Wood is going to H-Town for three years, $27 million. Wow. What does that all mean? Huh? Christian Wood is going to H-Town. Wow. Three years, 27. And you know what, Jay Ellis is so funny. Three years, 27? Yeah, it. but you know what? There was a, there was a, I forgot who mentioned it. Somebody said that Christian Wood's market is was going to be around $9 million. That's and that crazy. came out. That came out a couple months ago. Somebody That's did crazy. say that Christian Wood's deal, his market value was going to be around nine million dollars, and there it is. They Christian were Wood dead going to town. So what does nine that mean? Million. Is is Brody still on the move? Is is Harden still on the move? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe the GM is just like. I'm putting this team together and yeah. seeing what happens. I mean, it's a, it's a cheap enough deal where you could still move on from them, and and you know, if you want to, if you're rebuilding, so so to speak, with Christian Wood, nine million a year, that's nothing. Yeah, that is nothing. That's a dropping of nine million a year. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Maybe I should be his agent. That's cheap. Somebody See, mentioned that that was gonna be his uh his market value, and that's what I thought it was, it was at least gonna be the double. Di- I thought it was at least gonna be like yeah. 13 to 15. I'm going to I'm gonna pull that tweet up. Hang on. I'm going to pull that tweet up. So to everybody in the chat, hit that thumbs up button for you boys once again. Um, Christian Wood. Wow. Oh, these ain't the Christian Wood highlights. Where are the Christian Wood highlights at? Get out of here, Beasley. You're not going to be a Nick. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, these ain't them either. All right, I'll find them. But anyway, Christian Wood on the move. The move. Good pickup. All right. All right, on a cheat sheet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on a cheap. Shoot, we definitely could have got him if we didn't draft to Obi. <laughs> yeah, if they wanted him, sure. I don't know. Yeah, 
if they wanted him. Facts. Trying to see. Where's that tweet about his, his uh, market? Let's get to the phones anyway. <clears throat> Let's go to Christian from Westchester. What's going on, man? Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, just want to say hope all is well. Heard you guys say you're doing good, so hope all is well. Staying safe, all that. Uh, I'm surprised I'm the first one to say this, but, like, I'm so happy that we signed Miles Powell to uh, to an undrafted deal. I really think he's he has the potential to be a Alonzo Trier, but better, you know? Mm-hmm. He's, just, he's just coming out of college is better, and I'm just really excited to see him get a chance. Yeah, Miles Powell, the sharp shooters. I mean, the the absolute bucket jailers out of mm. Seton Hall signed an undrafted free agent deal with the Knicks. I like that, man. We need we need bucket, man. Get, get, let's get yeah, some scores in here, Jailers. For sure. Let's get some scores in here. I like that. Yeah. Let's go, I mean, good pickup. Good pickup. I was kind of looking to that the last show, too. It was like, we don't know what's going to happen about you know, we was giving up the last pick. We didn't mm. know why. But we ended up getting somebody off the market anyway. So, I mean, the front office had their vision from the jump. Yeah, <laughs> Miles Powell, man, good, good, good pickup. So I, I think that um, you know he'll end up getting the two way. I think he'll end up getting Kenny Wooten's two way. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. Took to Kenny's bag. Yeah. That rumor that Christian would. Uh, market that was gonna be nine million was spot on. I think it was Bobby Marks. I guess it was the the short game. That short game span, not enough, not enough runway to see if it's for real or not. Put a cap on him. Spot on, Christian Wood. Okay, shoot. If I was Christian Wood, I'd probably try to be the man. Yeah, get a one year yeah. deal. And get higher than that. But that's just me. I don't know. The more, the more and more these uh, these Hayward talks stall. It certainly could be in play still. Let's see how it goes. How would you feel, man? Would you be upset? Like if we ended up getting Hayward, was it? Yeah, I wouldn't, what's I wouldn't your what's your sustain? Man, because he can, he can help. He can help. You know. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't kill it. He can help. But that, that just wouldn't be my favorite pickup, you know. This one just wouldn't be my favorite pickup. That's what I'm saying. I think it would be. I think it would be. I. Right. I think it would be a decent move. I think yeah. it would be a pretty decent move. And it's a type of move where you can score, play defense, and he's not going to disrupt the youth. That's why I'm not super mad at it. Mm-hmm. Somebody said Woj deleted the tweet. It's not true. I don't know. I saw a. I don't think I saw a. I don't know. Deleted the tweet for who? Yeah, that was Bobby Marks. That was Bobby Marks. Yes, Bobby Marks had said that uh, Christian Wood's market would be around $9 million. And yeah, that's what it turned out to be. That's what it turned out to be. Macri said what? Let me see. Uh, somebody said Macri said something. Mm. Let's see. Let's see what Macri said. So to everybody in the chat, hit that thumbs up button for you boys once again. See what's going on here. What's Macri saying? He says, uh, uh, nothing. Yeah, he didn't say anything. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's uh, very interesting, with Christian Wood. All right, let's hear from some more uh, phone calls. Let's go to Cali Lawrence. What's going on? Yeah, twenty-seven million from Slams New Hey. Hey, fellas, a big fan. Um, I think we're trying to pluck the wrong guard out of New Orleans. Mm-hmm. I think we should try to get Josh Hart or the kid Jackson. Now, that's a dog. The ja- kid Jackson is a real dog. And Bogdan. Bogdan or Harris. We can get those two players. I'm not no uh, Gordon Hayward fan because he was an ex-Celtic. But <laughs> if we can get Bogdan or Harris and get Josh Hart or Jackson, yeah. I think we would be straight. Yeah, That's all. Take your right. comments off here, fellas. Appreciate it. Wait, is he t- which Jackson are you talking about? Reggie Jackson? I'm, I'm not sure. Tito? I'm not sure. No, I'm I know. Not, no, I'm just I, I, I like Josh Hart. Hart is a dog. Yeah, Josh I love Hart would be nice. Hart. Josh Hart would be a nice Josh Hart. Joe Harris. 
like you, you just keep hearing that he, he's set on going back to Brooklyn, so you don't really know how much of a possibility that is. Yeah. But you do know if you throw a bag at him. I might just throw a bag at him just to watch Brooklyn squirm because <laughs> just because yo match that so just you had can a over luxury tax. Just yeah. had a spike, yo, Katie. You know what? You know what, Harris? You, you worth 25 mil. Just make Katie and them work, man. Exactly. Yo, Harris. Just, just throw 25 mil at them just to match it so they can play <laughs> 80, they can play 80 mil because they're going over the luxury tax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Josh Hart. Josh. Oh, they're talking about Frank Jackson. Frank Jackson out of uh out of the Pistons. I mean Sorry, Pelicans. Um, hmm. I like Josh Hart, though. Yeah, Josh Hart. I'm not familiar with Frank Jackson's name. Definitely. Josh Hart let's is let's nasty. look him up. <clears throat> Frank Jackson. Yeah, out of the Pelicans. Probably had a good game against the Knicks. Probably schooled us. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Frank Check. Jackson, 6-1-1. One one. Mm-hmm. Out of Duke. Six three two oh five. Okay. Frank Jackson. Could be available. Sixty one games started sixteen last year. Or two years ago. Uh last year he played fifty nine, started two. Okay. All right. Frank Jackson. I thought he was Frank. talking about Reggie Jackson for a second. It's like Reggie okay. Yeah, I was like Reggie Jackson, nah, I wasn't really feeling it. All right, nah, Frank, same problem. Frank Jackson. We are at 3,000 in the chat. Let's go. Free word, agency word. special. I don't know if these are Knicks fans or just the people that want to laugh that the Knicks didn't get anybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Thank I you don't know, me. but thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. <laughs> no, the Knicks have not gotten anybody. So a little Friday night comic relief for the haters. Mm-hmm. All right. The Knicks are not getting anybody. All right. But it is what it is. Okay. I'm looking at Frank Jackson, too. Mid-range killer. All right. Yeah. He's a mid-range guy. 68% all all around from the mid-range. Okay. Now, not a three-point guy, though. (laughs) 35% all overall. Eh. Yeah. Average. Mm. Hey, no no state income tax in Texas, so Christian Woods deal is a little, little bit nicer. Yeah, guy. Everybody's off the board. Who do you want on free agency right now, man? That's that's what I want to know. Who do you yeah? Want who do you got? Who do you guys want in the chat? Throw some yeah. names out there in free agency. Who who are your targets? A lot of guys uh are going off the board. Mm-hmm. Is is it accurate or not? Some people saying don't follow Frank Isola. Is he like? Is it is it fake news? What happened? He is Frank Isola. Right? He is Frank right. Isola, but I mean, you know. I don't know. Chat's going. Oh, I think it's fake news, CP. Sham says free agent Christian Wood remains engaged with interested teams. Sources say. Wow. Isola fake news? Isola strikes again. Ooh, man. Isola got us, man. God, give your blue check away, man. Oof. Isola got us. Christian Wood is still on the market. Damn, shysty move by our solar, man. Come on, man. Check your sources. Check your sources. Check your sources. Check your sources, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Connecticut. CT. Ian, what's going on? How y'all doing, man? Love what y'all do. Um, I just wanted to say that, you know, we may have had a lot of interesting guys from what the reports say. Um, but we may be playing ch- chess when everyone else is playing checkers. We may, we may stay put this off season, and you know, wait for the loaded draft class of next year and the loaded free agency class of next year. Um, so I feel like you know, whoever we do sign though, should definitely complement the young guys that we have now. Yeah. Um, but in the back of my mind, you know, I'm kind of just thinking of next year and i've been going through it since 2013 we all have but next year is going to be crazy from what we hear so Mm -hmm. i do want mellow i do want some complimentary guys but thinking about next year thank you agreed agreed and i think they are too i think they are too i don't think they're in 
any rush to make quick fix moves. Um, so let, let's just see how this thing plays out. Obviously, you want him to pick somebody up. We need some pieces, man. We need some talent in here. But uh, it's also realistic that they go the super conservative route, JLS. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be a yeah. It's, Ian said it before. He said he feels like it's gonna be a conservative year. Yeah. So it might be a bunch of stop gap, stop gap players, especially if you miss out on the big ones that we want. Um. So stay tuned. Maybe we get our wish. We get to see RJ run the point, <laughs> or just run the team for once. Um. More news, CP. Yeah. Trey Burke, ex Nick Trey Burke. Trigger Trey. Mm-hmm. Trigger Trey. Sounds deal with the Dallas Mavericks. Three years, ten milli. Trigger Trey signs with the Mavs. Okay, good for Trey, man. I'm I'm happy that he he, he found a landing spot. Finally found some stability there with the Mavs. Was Facts. doing very well. Did very well in the bubble. Represented mm-hmm. well. Um, yeah. Trey was a fan. Trey was a friend of the program. Jails. He was one of yeah, the original definitely. friends and and uh, supporters. Facts. Of the Yo, shout. TV show. Shout, shout out to you guys, Trey and the fam. Yo, they, they was actually they actually rocked my back in the day when I had the Trey the Trey uh, yeah, Burke T shirts. The fam was rocking the Trey Burke T shirts, man. So shout out to you guys. That's facts. Man. I love for the fam. Yeah, man. Burke Burke fam was definitely uh, holding us down heavy. Mm hmm. Yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. Um, I want to salute uh, the super chats. A lot of super chats came in. Definitely want to salute Michael Parker, number one fan of the show. Appreciate it, Michael. Uh, Solidus Strife sends a super chat. We got Alan Berman sends a super chat. He says, uh, <laughs> well, now it was a Malik Beasley tweet, but I think Malik Beasley's fine. Father P says we need a point guard caretaker until we find a point guard. AKA, I hate the Nets. Not AKA, <laughs> but he also said, I also hate the Nets. All right. No doubt. Appreciate that for the piece. Um, who else we got here? On the Super Chats, we have Sincere1747. What up, fellas? About time I actually caught y'all dudes live. Appreciate it, Sincere. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. We are at 3,000 people. 1200 likes let's get up to 2000 likes all two all 3000 people right now if you're watching hit the thumbs up button on this video hit the like button on this video let's kick this thing in an overdrive um salute to super chats coming in mike appreciate it mike 20 dollars super chat all right money mark s says bertans needs to be our top target 17 to 19 mil per year. Let's finally give Frank a fair chance for once. He'll be much improved on the tip. Salute CPJLs. I don't know. I don't know if he's a top target at this point, man. We got a power sure. forward and topping. Yeah. We got. So you put him at the three. Which is, exactly. Uh, exactly. It's tough. But the Bertans' fit is tough. As much as I like him as a flamethrower, it, yeah. it's tough. The the I'm, the role I'm, with the with the with the contract, it, it's tough. Yeah, I'm not putting him at the three for sure. Yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely see Bobby Porter's coming back to you. I can see it happening. At this point, I can yeah, see it happening. I can certainly see it happening. Move Randall, Bobby Porter's back up, power forward. Yeah, and then we get like, uh, yeah, I can see it happening for sure. I, I could see it. Juvie Hell, how about going after Patty Mills? Yeah, yeah. Patty Mills, nah. Yeah. I'm going to Patty Mills. Pass on Patty. Yeah. He did, he did his days. Good play, though. He did his days. Yeah. He did his days. He's a decent player. Yeah. Heisenberg on Australian Super Chat. Speaking of Patty Mills, shout out to Heisenberg. John Perez. Um, yeah. Right. He said, I was a dude from Miami waiting for 40 minutes. I was yawning. I don't know, man. I don't, yeah. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. Yeah. Those Miami guys, they tried us on draft night, man. They tried to cross up Knicks fan TV Dave on the switchboard. Try to get to us, man. They did. They tried it. They got the com- they tumble, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then, no, no, no. <laughs> Facts. Uh, other super chats that came in. S guy 35. S guy appreciate it. He wants Bogdanovich. Trade for Nikhil Alexander Walker, the Pelicans. Log jam. Starting five. Walker, RJ, Bogdanovich, Toppin, and Mitch. Okay. All I, right. I don't see Alexander Walker slipping, you know. People always want the guys that come to the garden and, and <laughs> drop 50 other dicks. 
<laughs> he didn't drop fifty, but he, he torched us that that one night they came in last year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, too. I, I like that too. I, mm-hmm. I like the, I like the people that torch the Knicks. That's why I like Jared Harper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I definitely like Jared Harper. See our next starting point guard. Our yeah. next starting point guard. You know? <laughs> our next starting point guard. Um, let's see. Let's refresh this. See if anything else is coming in. Hawks mm-hmm. and Danilo. Dwight Howard, Sixers. We knew that. Rodney Hood. We knew that. De'Aaron Fox. Okay. Clarkson, Utah. Jordan Clarkson, Utah. Four-year, 52 million bags. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Decent bag. Yep. Anything Here, Derek, else I miss? Go ahead. No, Derek Morales asks, if, he, if Knox doesn't produce in year three, then what do we do with him? <laughs> well, I... I mean, it depends on what the what the goals are. What are the goals for Knox, right? Um, how many years he has left? One, one or two? Uh, is, he going, is he going into after this? He'd be restricted. I feel like it's. Hold on, let me look. It yeah, up. I gotta check. We gotta check his contract situation. Check his contract. He's a year after Frank, right? Right. Right. He's a year after Frank, so I feel like he has like two seasons, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going top of my brain now. Mm-hmm. Dwayne Porter, Knicks need energy at MSG, and Westbrook brings that. That's yeah, that's that's right. Uh, Frank Wilson, salute Frank, salute CP. What are we doing with Bullock? Keeping Bullock, four million dollars. Um, that that's a valuable contract right there. It could be used in a trade later or a piece to help you. Hopefully, you can get his three point shooting back and mm-hmm. and uh, and you know help us out from beyond yeah. the arc. Yeah, Bullock is like a missing piece, man, because Bullock is a guy who was a sniper before he got He was a sniper, man. He was a sniper. So, you know, he went through a lot. Went through a lot of adversity last year and a couple years ago. Uh, let's let's see if things kind of settle down for him. I like Bullock. Yeah, like he he was hovering around 40% from three for a while. Mm-hmm. He had a down year because I think he went to the Lakers and he didn't get to play that much. So his percentages dipped. You just figured that, you know, a year of being with the team for the full season, not being injured, not going through any traumatic situations, you can see, you can definitely see a scenario where his numbers go back up to where it used to be and why he, he kind of yeah. got a interest in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> Salute Jordan Crawford, uh, Crawford in the chat. Jordan Carter in the chat. Salute Jordan. Appreciate the support. Cedric Lucas, appreciate the support. Cedric Lucas in here. Um, I went to Frank. He says oh, thoughts on Lonzo. Yeah, I would I would go after Lonzo. Payback Mark, payback Carter talked about the Bobby Marks Christian Wood thing, but that wasn't uh that was a dud. I saw I sold his drinking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a catching more L's. That is yeah. man. Yeah. Sheesh. Not a good look. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. Yeah. Um, don't Rory, he says, CP Jails, I call OB coming to the Knicks back in June. Anthony Davis 2.0. Let's get bogged down in Orlando. Anthony Boy, Davis plays defense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ton of defense. Yeah, elite defense. Fat Boy. We'll see Anthony- yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's a stretch. That's a long way to go. Fat Boy. I can see him. Uh, I can see it on the offensive end. I can see it. Yeah, we said defense. On the defense, change though. the subject. <laughs> change the subject man. quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's well, why the Lakers that's... won because Davis was erasing everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He was erasing everything after that. Yeah, he you can't like... sleep on Anthony Davis's defense, man. He's elite. Mm-hmm. Uh, fat boy with kick. See if J Cole and Davis really want a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see oh. what's up with J Cole and Davies. Those could be our two bar key sidings, man. I'll be. I seen J Cole hit some some half court shots. Hey, Davies, Davies could ball now. Don't sleep. Don't Davies sleep on Davies. I haven't seen the Davies clips. I only seen. The oh J. yeah, Cole Davies clips. can ball, bro. Davies. Um, I believe he was he was uh he was down in 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 PG County with Beasley and KD balling. If I'm not oh. mistaken. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Dave East uh, used to hoop with them back in the day. All right, put some respect on his name. I know Cole. He got he had a college scholarship where he's 
That's how he got his money. Yeah. That's why. That's the story. He moved to New York on his college basketball scholarship mm-hmm. and then didn't go to college, really. <laughs> <laughs> or didn't finish. Mm. So I know he balls. But Davies, I'm going to check you out. Yeah, so, Davies oh, played shit. AAU with KD. Oh, that's what's up. And Beasley, yeah. Yeah, he could ball. He could definitely ball. Um, other super chats. Mixed... Mixed Element 17 says, ready to stand pat, wait for Rozier to be traded, and DSJ, the backup, love the Kobe uh, pick. Yeah, we talked about Rozier quite a bit uh, last Rand- night, because Rand- remember that Randall Rand- trade was was yeah. uh, hot, Randall and, yeah. and Rozier, that was a hot trade. It was. So, Scary Terry, J. Ellis, what are you thinking, man? What are you thinking there? I'm scared of it. <laughs> 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 Scary Terry coming. Scared of it. He had NYC, a nice. He had, man. he had a nice little run in the Celtics where he he looked all right. But I don't know. It's, it's looking like fool's gold to me, man. I'm staying away from Scary Terry. Scary it's, Terry, man. It's funny because I was talking smack about him. And then we played him. He torched us. But yeah, everybody <laughs> torches the Knicks, though. That's nothing new. And then we exactly. always want him on the team. You know? Exactly. And we we always want him on the team. So. Um, then he gets mm. Two years left on the deal. Do they want that deal? Do they want to keep it? 18 4 and 4 on the season for Terry Rozier. Last 10 games, JL shot 50% from downtown. Yeesh. Yeah, 50% from downtown, man. Did he play us 10 times? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. 40% overall from three. Did scary Terry, man. So that could that could be in play. You never know. I don't know if they want to take on the extra year of that deal, but scary right. Terry could be in play. I wouldn't sleep on it. I wouldn't either. How much how much pull does Ninja P have? Because I feel like that was a Ninja P move to yeah. get scary scary, uh, scary right. Terry over here for Julius Randle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fifty I mean, percent. That's not scary. It's not scary at all. I'd welcome that. Yeah, I mean he's he's gonna let it fly. He's gonna let it fly for sure. Yeah, like I, that's the thing too. I want I, I I do like scoring guards, but I like scoring guards who get other people involved. Mm-hmm. No boogie cousins taker so far. Boogie backing up Mitch. <laughs> oh no 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 <laughs> Why hasn't Joe Harris re-signed yet? That's very interesting, Jay. That is a great question. That is, that very is a interesting. G- Are the Hawks Can gearing up? Joe B had. <laughs> Are the Hawks gearing up for something again? I, I can't Hawks. see it. But you you know, can't. After getting after giving Danilo that bag, I I don't know. They got to pay Trey Young eventually. Yeah, how much bag is left? How much? But they had him like around forty, right? They had like around forty. Mm-hmm. Something in the cap. Half of that's gone. That's a fact. They got 20 left. They have to fill out the rest of their roster. Or are they going to move some places to make more room? Mm-hmm. Move right. some pieces to make more room. Things decisions, that make you go. Yeah. Decisions, decisions, man. Hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's go to um, Benji. Benji, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up, guys? Huge fan of the show. Um, just wanted to talk. Obviously, I'm a little bit worried now that uh, a lot of the free agent options is, have passed so far. Um, we definitely got to strike strike out now that we're well positioned to uh, spend our cap, spend our, our 35 million in cap space. Mm-hmm. So I'll tell you what I'd like to do. Um, I think we should, one of the players that hasn't been mentioned that I'd like us to go after is Jay Crowder. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, first choice would be Mook bringing him back. Mm-hmm. But I think if you strike out on bringing Mook back, you're looking to bring in Jay Crowder back. He's tough. He can shoot. He plays defense. Um, he does it all. I definitely would consider him. Yeah, for sure. Yo, is, is this um is this Benji from Uncut Gems, the movie? That's correct. That's me, sir. Benji, what's, what's going on, man? How's everything? I'm doing good, man. I'm just sitting here refreshing yeah, Sitting here fresh on Twitter like you guys. Nah, I hear you, man. I hear you, and, and uh, definitely appreciate the call, man. We yeah, got to get you on the show, man. For some activity here, nothing yet, but uh, hopefully we can. Uh, I think it would be good. My first choice was Gallinari. Obviously, that's not going to happen. So, mm-hmm. 
focusing on getting Hayward. Like you said, I think he can improve the team. And uh, I think if we sign Augustine, um, make some other small signings, maybe looking bringing back Taj or Bobby on the cheap, I think we will have had a very successful offseason. Okay. Man, appreciate okay. the call, man. Got to get ben- Benji on the show. Yeah, he's, he's a, he was in the movie uh, Uncut Gems with a- Adam Sandler. Oh, uh, okay. That's what's yeah. up. So shout out, shout out to Benji. Um, I spoke about Jay Crowd on the show when we did our top, did our top five wings, and I had Jay Crowder. Mm. Um, again, not a splash move, Jay Ellis, by any stretch. But like I said, for some reason, when this guy got to the bubble, uh, I, I think he found like Ray Allen. Thirteen Jordan points on six of six from the. He was absolutely on fire, and um. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what it was. He was he was shooting excellent from the bubble, from three, and he's another guy that gives you um, versatility on the wing. He gives you a lot of versatility on the wing, JLS, that can guard the two or the three. Another willing passer, capable passer, and and we spoke about this on Begley's show. Ninety seconds. We spoke about this on Begley's show today uh, with the coach that was on the panel with me, and and he stressed the importance of. Um, guys just knowing their roles. Right. You know, and that's something that you can't question with Jay Crowder. He's going to come in and do his job. Again, not the sexiest pick, but, uh, you know, a guy that's going to come in and do his thing. A guy that's just, that's just going to come and do his thing, go to work, sign in, sign out. Simple and plain. Exactly. I, seconds. Yeah. And Jay Crowder had a, a very nice series. Like you said, bombed away from three. I didn't expect to, for him to move. I would love him on the Knicks because, you know, a guy that can play power forward and shoot threes right. Small and ball. play defense is valuable because all these other power forwards that we've had that are stretch fours, they can't play defense. And this guy actually can. Yeah. So that's that's a weapon that's super valuable. I didn't see him really try, leaving Miami, though, which is why I never really talked about him. Um, I more saw so maybe Mook fitting that mold to lead just because he just seemed like he loved New York yeah. that much. And there was rumors about the people in in the Knicks organization who wanted to bring him back. So yeah. I can see Mook coming back. I can definitely see that happen. Well, the, the thing is about Crowder is even though they're saying Miami wants to keep him, again, the Knicks' advantage is that they can always give somebody a King's Ransom for one year. Right. So that's how they got Marcus Morris. Right, you know what I mean, and so I think this this could be a situation here as well. You never know, but I'm sure he wants to stay in Miami, and I'm sure they want to keep him. But mm-hmm. if it comes down to making you know ten million for two years with the Knicks or with Miami, or coming here for fifteen for one, we'll see. Exactly, we'll see, and you know, you just fully expect to. What is he looking for? Is he looking for years? Because you know, Miami is going to be looking into that free agency year as well. Mm-hmm. And they don't have as much cap as everybody else do. So you wonder what he's looking for. Does he want multiple years? And can Knicks give it to him? Yeah, no. I, I, I mean, I, I can Miami agree. give it to him? I mean, right. can yeah, Miami yeah. give it to him? I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, I definitely agree with you on that. So, Jay Crowder, not a bad option, Benji. Good good stuff, man. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. And let's see what's going on. Refresh, refresh, Jails. Refresh, refresh. Refresh. Now, now refresh what are we doing? What are we what doing? Are we doing? What are we doing? Who's moving? Who's moving? What are Nothing. we doing? What are we doing? Nothing. Just just rumors. Marcus Saul has emerged as a, a free agent target for the Lakers. Yeah, he's watched though. I mean, good, good. That would be good for them. He'd be going back. <laughs> yeah, if you don't right? if, you, if you don't remember, Marcus Saul was uh had his draft rights were owned by the Lakers. And got traded for his brother, Pau Gasol. Exactly. Yeah. At the time, yo, do you remember at the time thought that move was so asinine, mm-hmm. and then it turned out not to be as bad as we thought it was. Turned out not to be as bad. He had a great career, Marcus. Gasol. Exactly. Great career. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, end up ended up being a great trade. Hmm. It could be good for a Lakers. Somebody to trust it for if he decides. I, I thought Mark was trying to like leave the country to play ball. Was yeah. that bugging him to write that? Um, here's, is this Berman? Berman, the kid Gilchrist signing a, what? A three-year deal with the Knicks? Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. According to Berman, 
No, 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 no. So, I don't know. This looks fake. Sorry. So, pause. Pause on that. Pause uh, on that. Pause uh, okay, on that. okay. Rewind that. Heart <laughs> attack. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Gems. Get, let's get that uh that men in black. What's the men in black thing that they used to do to, to, to erase your little... memory? Yeah, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody on the yeah. chat. Are you still are you, everybody still alive? All right, you still alright. <laughs> yeah. False no, alarm. Forget, False forget alarm, that. guys. Nothing to see. No, but I think I think that is Ber I thought that was Berman's account though. I don't know. I'm not I'm not here. <laughs> Because I would have been pissed if they would have gave him that that amount of money. Let me check Berman. Let me check Berman's account. Yeah, check that out. Check check, check. Look into that. I didn't see Shams or, or or Ian or Walt or I didn't see anybody announce anything. Okay, Berman. Mm -hmm. Last tweet thirty seven minutes ago. Okay, his last tweet was twenty. Okay, so I don't know. Somebody. Um, these people are getting good with with uh, with creating those similar accounts. Oh yeah, they'll change one letter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Download, uh, yeah, download yeah. your picture off Google. Yeah, false, <laughs> false alarm, people. False alarm. You got crossed up. Just a little cross, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I, 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 I recovered. I recovered exactly. and got to steal, man. I recovered and got stumble. We didn't fall. Stumbled. That's it. That's it. Just a little. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just a yeah. Stumble. We didn't. We didn't touch the ground. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. 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 Nah. Whew. That was. What a relief. What yeah, yeah almost, almost Jamal Crawford does this now. Yeah, what a relief. <laughs> <laughs> Man. That, that was a scary sight just now. Sacks. Scary sight. You said sight. three years deal. I was like, three year? I was yeah. like, three year what? Three years, two million? Yeah. <laughs> Sean, what's going on, Sean? Woo. Sean going once? Sean, you still there? All right. All right. Oh, you know what? Oh, that was my fault. I got to, uh, I got to plug in. Sean, Sean, go ahead and call back, man. That, that was my fault. <laughs> Shout out to you, Shifty Lee. Hashtag new. I see yeah. you, brother. Sean, what's going on, bro? Shifty Lee, what a name. CP, what's <laughs> going on, my brother? How you doing? Good, man. How, what's your points for tonight? All right. So I got, I got two quick points. Um, Look, looking at this uh, thing with Gordon Hayward, I don't think it's going to go through. So I think the Knicks' best option is to do what you've been saying we should do all last year. We do a sign and trade. We'll take Oladipo and some kind of draft compensation. So we sign Hayward, trade him over to Indiana, take back Oladipo, who doesn't want to be there anyway, and maybe get a second-round draft pick for uh, 2023. I think that's a, I think that's a plausible deal, honestly. Um, because the Say more, it again? he was you saying know, he was saying they don't want to yeah. help Boston. Who wants to help Boston? Right. So instead, they get it through us. And then, second, real quick point: mm -hmm. I keep hearing everybody talking about Lonzo Ball and Fred Van Fleet. Fred Van Fleet isn't even the best point guard on his own team. So why would yeah, you exactly. want him? And Lonzo Ball, I keep hearing everybody say they want Lonzo because he's a pass-first point guard who's not going to have a high usage. We have that already with Frank. Why are we going out to get another one? Enjoy your show, guys. Love you. I've been here since day one. Appreciate you. Keep doing your thing. Appreciate it, man. Lonzo's a better overall point guard than Frank, though. Yeah. You know. it, it, it trust, they trust Lonzo more to run the point as a starting yeah. point guard, yeah. pretty much. The numbers are sure, sure it right now. Yeah. What was, what was he saying about Oladipo? Though he was saying to no, get Oladipo he was saying from... get involved in the in the Hayward deal by getting Oladipo and a pick. Mm. You know, if they could get involved in it some way, that some way, um, in that regard, which I mean wouldn't be the worst idea right now, but it just depends on what you're giving up. Yeah. You know, remember, uh, I was... Oladipo's a free agent. He's he's, he's walking right. into a in, into a contract year, so you don't want to you don't want to give up much for him. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too, because like if you can free up some cap for Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, if you know you're not going to get Hayward anyway, then you might as well try your hand at Old Depot if if you can get him on the cheap, because they're just so desperate to try to get Gary Hayward. Right. That's a fact, man. Makes sense. See what else? Get on is... it, Brock. <laughs> See what else is going on here. Christian Wood remains available. 
All right. Hey, this time last year, it was uh, KD. <laughs> Remember the KD stuff? That yeah, was, that was crazy free agency. That was nuts. That mm-hmm. was the crazy. That's probably the craziest free agency years mm-hmm. I can remember. Is that one the Derrick Rose one was crazy too? Yeah, the the year where we got Derrick Rose and and Joe King Noah and all that happened so fast. Uh, and Courtney like, Lee. Yeah, that year was a yeah. little bit crazy too. For but sure. nothing was crazier than the the KD. The KD and Kyrie Irving. KD free agency, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, somebody said it's looking at, I was I saw something in the chat, but I lost it. Sorry, people. Chat chat is just going crazy. There's 2,800 people in here. Let's go. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. E. It's a free agency watch party. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just watching right now. We just watching now. We're, we're just, just watching, watching Twitter. Yeah. Refresh. Um Jordan Refreshing Carter react. says, "What do you think they should do with Randall? Trade him if there's a if there if there is a deal to be made. Because Fact. right now, I looked at the Conley deal, don't think it's happening. I looked at the Beasley deal, not happening. Who wants who wants Randall? Portland. Uh, me, Rafael Barlow. Remember, I mentioned that he would have been interested in, in Julius of Portland. That was a place that I could that I could have seen him uh, going." But now they have Venus Cantor. Now they got Cantor. So I don't know. What is the mar- what does the trade market look like for Julius Randle on a fifth eighteen million dollars plus four million guaranteed next year? Randle for Lonzo straight up. <laughs> no. Come on, man. Straight Come up on, six man. o'clock. Killing me, bro. No? Who says no? No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. All right. Christoph, appreciate the super chat, Christoph. No, that 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 post about Kid Gilchrist was not real, thank God. Mm-hmm. Uh, above the rim, we are still in the driver's seat. Let Papa Rose send out his men to get the job done after midnight. Yeah. Yo, it's, it's going to be a low-key one, man. Just just expect it. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a low-key one. We chilling. Yeah. Get your drink. <laughs> yeah. Get your drink on. And refresh. And sit tight. And refresh. That's it. All right. Who else? Uh, June. June in Atlanta. June, what's going on, man? Mm-hmm. What's going on, CP? What's good, JL? What's going hey, on? How you feeling, man? What's going on in Atlanta, man? Man, you know, look, I keep, I stay tuned to y'all. This is the only way I feel like I'm back home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah, much love. Quick, I want to make quick two points, though, man. Now, I'm already, I'm feeling good about this. Even though we ain't made no moves, it's already different from what, from what the old Knicks used to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, usually back in the day, you'd have seen us sign a, a boogie, boogie cousin to a max deal right now in his current condition. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah. But, listen, um, yeah. They they're gonna take the conservative approach to to building the team, man. They're gonna take the conservative approach. Yeah. So we just gotta. It just is what it and, is. And it's I'm, not gonna look pretty. What I'm what I'm feeling is that I think the Knicks strong point right now for once is the staff. Now, I'm, I'm talking from the head coach down to the, development, the developmental staff. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I don't see nothing wrong with, 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 with who we got. Maybe adding three or four veterans. Maybe a Rondo. Bring Mook back. Bring Melo back. Bring Taj back. You know, for the locker room presence. Minus Melo, of course. But you know, we got good coaches. Mm-hmm. Let's see what he could do with. Let's see what he could do with Frank. Let's see what he could do with DSJ. See what he could do with Knox. See what he could do with Randall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. We'll see. The thing is now, the, the thing is with Randall. I don't believe now. the assets that we do have to, you know what I'm saying, to, to, yeah. to, to make a trade for somebody else that we might end up overpaying. I don't, I don't want to do that. 
Yeah. No, I understand that. I pre- appreciate the call, man. Well, I, I, this is where we are right now, JLs. You know what I mean? It's it's the development track. Let's see what we have. But they right. need some veterans in here, man. They're on yeah. a short, short off season, short training camp, short preseason, and yep. a short season. And so no summer league. No summer league. And so they, they need some veterans in here because Tibbs is gonna play those guys heavily. And and it starts with the point. It starts at the point. They gotta they have to address it. Yes, you can you can still play Frank. You can still play DSJ. They got to have a vet in there. They need some locker room presence in there to keep these guys in check. Make sure that, you know, a, a go-between between between the coach and the players. And as far as Julius, you know, it, it's um it's hard to say what's he even thinking right now. Julius wants to be the man though. Like it'll be one thing if you feel like Julius would accept a role off the bench. Mm-hmm. But we don't foresee that happening. Does anybody foresee that happening? No. He was brought here to be the man. Like egos are egos. You have to factor in the egos when you're talking about basketball. You can't when you you can't just bench people, veterans like it's 2K and expect not to have like a, a, a little mini mutiny in the locker room. So just for the sake of our team, I think we have to move on. From Julius Randle, just just from the locker room perspective, like yeah. I don't think you'll be able to handle a rookie playing thirty minutes a game and he's getting their leftovers. Yeah, that's tough. It's a tough side of the business, man. It's the next man up league. Mm-hmm. Tough side of the business to deal with for sure. Exactly, exactly. I'm still super excited for Toppin next to Mitch, man. I'm excited for that, though. Yeah. <laughs> so same here. Same here. Power forward that passes. That's what I'm happy about, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ramona Shelburne, Lakers and KCP far a talk, far apart on talks. Far apart. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Knicks fans since birth who keeps tagging me, letting me know what's happening in the news, saying this is not Berman. That is a false account. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. But I think he actually tagged the real Berman. That's the funny part. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Yo, that, that account was uh was was pretty tricky, man. My oh, man, you you tagged the wrong account. This is burning, dog. This yeah. is the... <laughs> that, that Thank you was, though for trying to look out. Pretty tricky, man. Oh man, when you don't okay. know the real from the fake. Looking quiet right now. It's very quiet. Refreshing. Nine thirty on the East Coast. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's uh let's hear for some more people. Let's see what's going on. I need a drink. That's what I need. Let's go to pre- Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Joseph, what's going on? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Man? How you feeling, man? What's going on? Just, just hey, turn got, down, turn down got, your TV. Uh, pretty good, man. I got a couple of questions for you guys, man. I know you guys are joking about the um. Mark, the Marcus Cousin over there, but uh, what happens if we get cheap that guy, you know? If the guy can score 20 points a game, give you a double, Kenny? double point of rebounds, what, what about that? Kenny, though? And, can't, how do we know that? And, and the other thing is uh, Mike Conley, too. We, we can trade for Mike Conley. Let's get Mike Conley over here. Yeah. Listen, I appreciate the call, man. Um, with Boogie, you don't know what he has left in the tank, Jails. You have no okay. idea what he's left in the time. I mean, all right, if you want to take a a low risk, roll the dice on him. Okay, all right. You know, I wouldn't. It's not like they're gonna overpay him or anything. So it would be probably like a vet minimum deal. I don't see why he wouldn't just stay with the Lakers, stay and chill out west with LeBron. Who who do you say? Boogie Cousins. Oh, Boogie Cut. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. I don't see him. I don't see him regaining form. To be honest with you, boy. Me neither. Whatever. Um, in terms of Conley, listen. Like I said, I know they were interested in him. Could they get that deal off? Not looking likely right now. They did trade Ed Davis from the Jazz to the Knicks. That was their quote unquote salary dump move. Right. I would love to have him with new ownership in in, in tow. Who knows what his motivation is? And so the original thinking with the Conley deal was was that um, they were expecting the salary cap to be a lot lower. Right. And so with Utah wanting to retool, keep clocks and get favors and, and go on with that, that they would make Conley available in the salary dump. 
Looking less likely right now. Yeah. It's looking less likely right now. I haven't heard anything else on it. Right. Cap is around 109. Didn't really go anywhere. 72 games in a season. Mm-hmm. Preserved all those TV deals. So it kind of stopped the, the cap from dropping dramatically like some people thought. Facts. So Conley is still right. in Utah. And the Los Angeles Lakers making a splash. LeBron gets his guy all the time. Montres Harrell to the Lakers. Ah, How the hell does that the happen? Rich the rich. The rich always get richer, folks. Always. Lose the White Howard. Lose the White Howard and gain an mm. absolute monster. <laughs> can't make it up. Oh, I can't make this stuff up, man. Cannot make it up. The Lakers always get what they want and never have to sweat. This is why the league had to come in with the Chris Paul thing and cancel them and say, you're wilding. Exactly. Stop the league, man. Stop the count. Stop, Stop the, the count. Stop the count. Stop the bleeding. <laughs> Lakers get Montrez. Where'd the money come from? Oh, my gosh. How much did they pay that man? He, Hey, he, he said, I want a ring. I'll get money later. Oh, wow. Sacrifice. How do they afford that? He must be coming on a, on a vet minimum deal, like a mid-level exception. He probably came in for a one-year deal. Let me get a ring, and then I'll Man. go get paid. That's kind of a smart. That's smart, though. That is smart. That's smart. That is smart. You're a role player anyway. Yeah. So it's not like you're going to have the uh, that stigma. Yeah, yeah. Of Rick chasing, really. Right. So get your ring. Get the bag next year. Yeah. That's a, that's an automatic ring. That's an automatic ring damn near next year. That's a ring. Wow, Montrez out to the Lakers. Never fails, man. Man. Damn it, Clay. You might have been able to stop the Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> ne- never, ever fails. Um, We got to reset the phones. There's still some callers in the queue. We got to reset it. Let me get through. We got a ton in here already. Let me let me get through some of these, and then we'll see where we end up. Um, Dwayne from Queens. Queens, what's going on? Yo, what's going on, fellas? How you, how you doing, bro? What's going on? Man, I'm good. I'm good, man. Hey, first of all, I just want to shout out to you guys, man. You guys do a great job. Um, actually, I live in Florida right now. I'm originally from QB, so I live in Florida right now, but I still kind of follow the Knicks. Um, and I, the one thing I want to say, my quick two points is, one thing is for real, we need to go ahead and sign Westbrook. I mean, y- y- stop playing. They say, listen to me, Tibbs had – his best experience when he had a dominant point guard running the show and the rest of the guys being role players. Yes. That's the last time Tibbs had his most success. And who's the kind of guy that's on the market right now that he can get like that is Westbrook. You could bring Westbrook in here. You bring the excitement back to New York. You bring the excitement back to MSG. And you damn sure got a petty rivalry going on with the people right across the bridge. If that don't bring in the seats, if that don't that if that don't light up TV and get some some true excitement in the Knicks, I don't know what will. And two, I mean these young guys, you have we have a young team, so give them a guy that's going to push the pace. Let it give them a guy that's going to push the pace all the time. Not to mention he he's got a rim runner. You guys already got a rim runner, send a rim runner. You got a mm-hmm. you just drafted a good power forward that can get a shot on his own. You got a small forward, you know, good defender can actually get better, can spot up, be a good three and D. Mm-hmm. You have the tools. Yeah, bring back, you know, Taj Gibson because he's had great success with Taj. Um, and bring back Portis to stretch the floor as a big man. But you put you bring in Westbrook with this young team for two years, y'all got to tell me this. When was the last time Westbrook ever missed the playoffs and the last time the Knicks ever made the playoffs? Just leave, I'm going to leave it at that. All, all fair points. All good points, Yales. De- definitely all great points. And with OB in, in, in house, even more critical that we need a point guard in here. Yeah. We need a lob th- we need somebody to throw lobs. Yeah. Yeah. Very critical. Yeah. But look- I mean DSJ DSJ threw lobs to DeAndre Jordan all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right on that. You're definitely right on that. It was just two years ago. Mm-hmm. Two years ago, DSJ was a decent basketball player. Two seasons um, 
the deal for Harold J. Ellis. And first of all, his agent is Rich Paul, a.k.a. LeBron James. <laughs> Two-year deal, 90 mil. Two years, 90 mil plus. And, he, and so the Lakers use a mid-level. I told you. They mm. use a mid-level on him. Mm. They use a mid-level on him. LeBron got his guy for the Again. mid-level exception. Another one. Plus a player option. So you know what that means. Oh, boy. Go get the ring, then go get the bag. Clutch. (laughs) Sign. Stamp. Done. Stamp. Delivered. Delivered. Ring in the mail already. (laughs) Delivered. It's already sending out tomorrow. Get that little Amazon. Get that little Amazon email ping. Yeah. Shipped. Got him. (laughs) <laughs> got him. I told you it was a mid-level exemption. They, that's all they had left. Could have been much more. Remember, Schroeder's make, still making some money. Remember, they got Schroeder. Yeah, they got Schroeder. They're going to go over the cap to sign AD. Absolutely. Yeah. And then happily pay that luxury tax to another ring. Yeah. So, um, LeBron building his team so that he could take a break. Because you know he's not coming back to like February anyway. Yeah, he's going to rest those knees. Yeah, <laughs> LeBron's probably not coming back to like February, March, bro. Mm, for real, he'll come right, back to right the playoffs. That. This is Schroeder's team. This is Schroeder's team until February, March. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. Pick and roll Schroeder, pick and roll Schroeder AD every day. Yeah. If Schroeder could do that. <laughs> mm. Somebody said he turned down more money from Charlotte. Had to. I'm sure he had uh, more lucrative deals out there. Had to. Took the mid-level exception. Mm-hmm. Turn down the bag in yeah. Charlotte. That's crazy. And Patrick Beverly is not happy, folks. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to read these tweets. Patrick Beverly finds out on Twitter and he is not happy. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, Patrick Pat Bev is not happy about that at all, man. Pat Bev is not a happy camper. Face palm, what? It's a face palm. <laughs> <laughs> Angry face. Oh man! Oh, uh, that, that that is gonna be one rugged fight facts. between those two. Oh man! Book it. Dame Lil will never, Patrick. Book it. <laughs> Pat Bev versus Montrez is going to be a brawl at Staples Center. I am ready for Dame to reply somewhere. Please reply. Yeah, Dame. Dame, Dame is going to be replying. <laughs> please get on this thread, Dame. Please. Please. We need Dame on this <laughs> thread. We need please Dame get on, on this thread. thread to make it interesting. Somebody text CJ. Somebody text yeah, me. we need Dame on this thread to make it interesting, man. Wow. Okay. Rich get richer. What the oh, hell man. is going on? Team blew up and now. Hmm. Yeah. What? First the fast boys break up. <laughs> yeah. For, for real, man. Uh, let's hear from Mr. Coliseum. Mr. Coliseum, what's going on? Hey, man, what's going on? How you feeling? I got a feeling this whole thing is a, I got a feel this whole thing is a big conspiracy with Kyrie and KD and LeBron keeping guys away from the Knicks. I swear I think something's going on. Maybe, you know, you guys will call me crazy, but I think they're keeping guys away, telling them not to sign here. I don't know, unless we're trying to save money for uh, AD, thinking he'll sign here, but I don't think there's a chance for that. What do you guys think? Yeah. Um, I mean, never say never, but I, I highly doubt it. He's he's going to stay in L.A. I don't see any type of conspiracy. They just, they want to take care of themselves, you know? Everybody's yeah. taking care of themselves. I don't I don't think uh they they're really moving that energy here. Yeah, man. I feel like the players do talk, but the winds winds cure all. If you get winds, it really don't matter what no one say. We're in New York. If we're de- if we're a five hundred team CP, we're getting free agents. Point blank period. Yeah, that's a fact. Don't even have to blow anybody away. If we're a five hundred team and we have cat space, we're gonna get free agents. Yeah. That, that's mm. a fact. Somebody in the chat said that uh, Trez got robbed by Clutch. 
Clutch made Nerlens Noel, Norris Cole, Shabazz Muhammad. They all lost eighty million in Detroit. <laughs> they ripped off Trez just now. Well, hey man, he's a grown man. He's got to make his own decision. Clearly, he wants to get a ring, and then go get some money later. So right, some guys do it the opposite way. <laughs> you know, some guys don't care about the ring ever. Right, they just want go, the glory. Get, go to the highest bidder. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, he might be all right. He's like, well, I got a few million already. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to shout out John Shin J. Ellis, a $100 super chat yeah. in the building. Talk about support. Hey. Said, wanted to show love for your hard work and consistency. Isn't another person that creates a platform like this besides you? He understands, J. Ellis. This is the number one show for the fans by the fans. That's what's up. Yeah, John Shin, man. Appreciate that, man. Definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it, man. All the Super Chats go go back into the channel, man. We just invest back into the channel Facts. to continue to uh, upgrade, you know, equipment, content, Pretty whatever much. the case is. Uh, the Knicks Fan TV website is being finalized. It's pretty much done. And so KnicksFanTV.com is is pretty much ready. Just just ironing out some more kinks with the website. Uh, again, make sure you guys sign up for the mailing list. That's why I need you guys on the mailing list. Like, we're on YouTube right now. You never know where this thing could go. It's very important that we maintain your contact. So KnicksFanTV, Dave, and TM, if you could throw the... Um, the mailing list, or better yet, just go to KnicksFanTV.com, and on the pop-up, you'll see uh, to the uh, the prompt to enter your name into the mailing list. So just go right ahead and put your names in there so that we can maintain your contact. We'll probably have a newsletter coming out fairly soon to inform the fans of, of future events and things of that nature. So, uh, again, just to keep the community going, KnicksFanTV.com is pretty much on ready. Website, that's what's up. Yeah, man. We're getting the website going for sure. Getting getting the website going. John Shin, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. that that's a lot of love, man. Definitely uh, appreciate that. Definitely. All right. Let's go to uh, a couple more calls. Kind of quiet tonight, JLs, man. I don't know. Super I'm not quiet. sure how, how much longer we're going to do this thing, man. I feel you. Kind of quiet. Uh, Steve from Queens. Steve, what's going on? What? 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 Yep. Hold up. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Free agent forward Yo. Davis Bertans has agreed to a five-year, $80 million deal to return to the Washington Wizards. Washington Wizards. Davis Bertans is off the market, folks. Yeah. Hey, we, expected that. We, we expected that. Davis. Yeah, we did. we did. The bag. The bag, bag. Five-year, 80 for Bertans. Okay. Wow. Um... I mean, wow, yeah, wow. Uh, 16, I said. 16, long term, though. Long, long term. Yeah, well, well, my prediction was 15. My prediction for Bertans and Harris early this year were was 15. But five years. Do you see, I don't really see five-year deals anymore. That's true. You don't see that. That's, I usually see three, four, yeah. max. Owner, was, owner of the Wizards is probably like, thank you for choosing us. <laughs> exactly. Don't ever go. Don't we ever leave us. We reward you for your loyalty. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Damn, Wizards got money to, to, to throw out. And John Wall is, is damn near making 50 mil. You got Bradley Beal making a ton. So that that's their big three. Damn. Yep. That's a whole lot of money for a lot of L's. Exactly. <laughs> let's, just, Eggs, let's keep it a hundo. Let's just keep it a hundo, man. That's, That's a whole lot of money for a lot of losing. Snapple facts. That price yeah, tag man. is high. Yes, yep, yep. True. But Davis Bertans. I don't know what happened to my uh my highlights here, but Davis Bertans is going to the he's staying with the uh Washington Wizards. Five years, eighty million dollar bag. Mm. I gotta fix my highlights up, man. My highlight reel is uh messing up. What's going on here? <sighs> what the hell happened? All right, St- we still looking. We still we still looking. <laughs> still, for, we still we looking st- for deals, Jails. You know, you still, still looking, looking for the deals. deals. <laughs> What's the little stick with the, the little stick? The, the, the do do something. <laughs> <laughs> 
still, yeah, still, still looking for deals here. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Joe Harris, what's up? Yeah. Bogdan was good. Facts. Augustine, Jeff. Bertans, Anybody? Absolute sharp shooter, man. Good for them. Yo, you remember, you remember, remember last year, man, as soon as free agency started, everybody was signed like an hour later. <laughs> yeah, and that was the expectation this year because it was such a short off season. You know, that was the expectation this year, but uh, things are still trickling in, but definitely not as uh, rapid whoa, fire as whoa. Nice year. Uh-oh, what's up? Adrian Wazanowski reports. Wait, what? <laughs> Alec Burks to the Knicks. All right. Alec Burke to the Knicks on a one-year, $6 million deal. Alec Burks. Alec Burks? Is coming to the New York Knicks. He used mm. to trash the Knicks when he played for Utah. He used to watch the Knicks. Uh, and he was recently with the, the Golden State Warriors. Aaron, is this your doing? All right. So the Knicks <laughs> getting some... Shooting help, Alec Burks, one year, six Burks. million dollar bag. Oh, that, that. go yeah. big, or go home, CD, CP. Yeah, <laughs> Al, Alec Burks, six million dollar bag. Alec Burks. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, I'm trying to pull the stats up. With my, uh, come on, man. What's going on with this? Come on, man. <sighs> well, uh, average twelve points a game. Let me close this. Shot forty one percent from three. Yeah, he could shoot. He's a good shooter. Mm-hmm. Forty six. He's a good shooter. Field. Say that again. Forty six percent from the field. Yeah, yeah. Burks is a good shooter. All right, all right. Four four attempts a game from the three point line. Yeah. Decent. Fifteen points a game. Fifteen and four. Let's see. Oh, twelve points a game. Twelve points. I got fifteen. On ESPN, I got 15 on ESPN. Okay. Alec Burks. Um, where's his regular season stats here? Regular season, 38% from three. And uh, Alec Burks coming to the New York Knicks. What do you guys think of the chat, man? Not a bad move. $6 million or whatever. Give it to him. He can shoot. Anybody that can shoot is welcome here, man. <laughs> welcome... <laughs> To the New York Knicks, Alec Burks. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's one deal off the board. What else we got? <laughs> what else we got here? Here we go. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the show. That's our show. <laughs> Alec Burks. <laughs> so, all right. Fine, fine with me. Fine with me. Okay. Refreshing. Joe Harris, back to the Nets. No surprise. Joe Harris, according to Shams, is going back to the Nets. All right. Okay. Expected that. Mm Mm-hmm. Joe Harris going back to the Nets. Cool, cool. So another one is gone. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. (laughs) <laughs> Jeremy Grant. Wait, what? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Jeremy Grant, three year, sixty million dollar deal to the Pistons. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No way, man. No what? way, man. What? No, the, the Pistons picked up the power forward stone and they're using it. Where is Christian Wood going? Yeah, I guess to the probably still to the Rockets. This I saw it just too early. Wow! 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 Again, didn't expect Jeremy Oof. Grant. Didn't I? I damn sure know the Knicks was not going to offer him no six sixty million dollars. Yeah, I, I know that. Cashed out. I thought 15 would be his area. Wow. Same. Three for 20. 20. 20. Yikes. Wow. 
Back to back, Nick. Big news. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Burke. <laughs> wow. Jeremy Grant. Yeah. Wow. The Pistons. Joe Harris. Big news. <laughs> Mind blown on, on Nick's Twitter. Wow. Okay. Good for him, man. I like Jeremy Grant. He deserved it. 20, I mean, what was the deal again? Yeah. 2020. Wow. Wow. No one should be laughing at the Knicks anymore looking at what Detroit is doing over there. Yeah. Like, what what's, in the world? What's up? <laughs> Crispy, talk to me, man. Where you at, What man? in the world is happening over there, yo? Where we at, man? What is that GM smoking in Detroit? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah. listen. Everybody's laughing now. We got a nice little stealth tank going on, Jay Ellis. We gearing up for next year, man. Gear up for next year. Let's go. That's it. All right. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Tommy Beer. Tommy Beer always has the stats and the stats on mm-hmm. his Twitter. Burke Yo, yeah. Tom, will Tommy Beer stay. will find a way to make Alec Burks like uh, Ray Allen. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'll find a stat to make you look good. Tommy like. Beer will find a sure. stat to make Alec Burks the hottest shooter in the league. Um, he'll you know hype you mean? up with the stats. That he'll be, he'll be like, Alec Burks is the first player to to shoot five three-pointers, uh, uh, two assists, play exactly. 10 minutes, go to the bench. <laughs> and he'd be like, wow. Yeah, and he'd be like, wow. That's some shit Man. right there. Sign him. <laughs> Sign Where's my bag? <laughs> Where's my bag? <laughs> yeah, Tommy Beer, the king of the silver linings, man. Oh, man. Platinum linings. Yeah, the king <laughs> of the silver linings, man. For real. Career high. 16.1 points. Yeah. Okay. Jeremy Grant. Wow. I I thought for sure uh, he would stay with the Nuggets. I thought for sure he would stay with the Nuggets, man. Me too. I think everybody was saying, thinking he was going to stay with the Nuggets. But yeah. um, $20 million? I'm out too. Twenty yeah, million a year. Yeah, get that bag. I don't, Nuggets was not offering him no twenty mil. I know get that. that bag, man. Oof. Went to went to the Detroit. It's cold in the D tonight. Um, who we got here? Big Z, Uptown Harlem World. What's going on? Shh. What's well, really good, fellas? You know, I'm enjoying tonight. This is hilarious, especially coming from Detroit. Detroit is wilding right now. They got the, like you said, they got the Infinity Stone. They got Steve Mills as a special advisor over there. Relax. They going crazy with the power forward. They going crazy. <laughs> it's, it's switching hilarious. everything. I it's switching say, everything. Um, you could you could tell how toxic the the Clippers locker room was when your six man, one of your main guys. Goes bounced. to the other locker room to play with LeBron. Bounced, bounced. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. And for two years at 19 million, big facts. That's big, big facts. That's big. But let me let me talk about my yeah. Knicks. You know, we love our Knicks. Free agency in New York and any team in New York, we go crazy because we love rumors, we love trades, we love all that. But we playing chestnut checkers this year. You know what I'm saying? Go. And we the only players we need to be looking at is people that complement our young trio. You know what I'm saying? Like Bogdan Bondanovic, you know, bring Mook back, you know, just bring a little sprinkling of a point guard in there, Jeff T or somebody, you know, DGD Augustine, just somebody to fill the gaps because we still got draft picks, we still got time because this league right now is, is going to be up for grabs in the next three, four years. And that's our sure. timeline, you know? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you like this, Obi can straight up ball. Don't pigeonhole him as no super dunker. Your man got ball skills. He could take it out to three. He can shake you. He can dribble. I remember he was young. He could dribble. You know what I mean? Like you said, he came from 6'2 and 96'9. You know, the AD comparison is real. You know, the defense is not there yet, but Mm -hmm. defense is learned over time. You know what I'm saying? But this chestnut checkers, we got a ball. I would love to see Mook back in the house. I would love to see us throw the bag at at Bogdan Bondanovich. I'm going to tell you like this. I would also like us to see us grab Fred Van Bleet, because I'm going to tell you, mm. nobody cooks Fred Van Bleet. I don't care if he's the shortest guard on the court. Nobody cooks him. He's scrapping. But he cooks them. He's a, And he's clutch. He shoots, the, he shoots the hell out the ball. Mm-hmm. You know, and he can facilitate, and he's a leader. 
because if only Cal Lowry was on that team when Toronto went to the playoffs and won the chip, they lose. I don't care what yeah. – Um, what's my man's name? The, the, the machine. I don't care if he was on the team doing 100,000 buckets. With only Cal Lowry, you lose that chip. You know what I'm saying? But Fred Vlamby came through in the clutch. So we got to throw the bag at him? Fine. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, as you can see, the bag is getting thrown around all – over the NBA right yeah. now. So might as well bring in some quality to the Knicks because we got some money and it's not going to hurt us in the long run. Dude, dudes are cashing oh, out. Pre- appreciate the call, man. Dude, dudes are cashing out. JLs, you want Mook back. I know you do. Go ahead. Keep it real, man. Keep it real. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you know what? I, I don't, you know what it is, though? I mean, as a small forward, I wouldn't, mean, I wouldn't mind Mook back. But I really wanted more Mook back as a power forward before we got, um, before we got our guy here. I really want to move back more as a power forward. Mm. I feel like I feel like he would be like a good stretch four, and um, his defense at the three isn't as you know, his defense at the three is a little shaky, a little bit shaky sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I feel like his defense at the four would be a lot better because he's just a bigger body. So I want to move back more so as a four. Not not that um, now that we need a three, I wouldn't mind it, but I'm not as hard pressed to have him back as before. Yeah. Because uh, I, I need the defense at the three. Give me his brother, man. His brother's more efficient. Give me his brother. I like Mook. Mook, Mook did his thing here. That's good. He got us the first round pick. Did his job. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'd rather his brother. And let's see. Let's see if if he can shake loose. Depending on where the Lakers go now. I feel you. They can yeah. use him. I I I I think Keith with the Lakers. He played very well in the bubble. He was excellent for them in the bubble, especially when Danny Green was bricking. Jr. didn't give him anything. Um, Keith get really gave him that three point shooting that they needed. Hmm. <laughs> Shout out to Knicks fanatic. They they keeping us up on Twitter with all the little stats. The Alec the Alec Burke Joe Harris comparison. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Now now they trying to they trying to sell you that he he's a uh, he's a budget Joe Harris. Yes, exactly. Oh boy. All right. They're saying they're saying we paid six million for for Alec Burke. Who averaged fifteen points and shot forty percent from three, and cost six million, while Joe Harris cost seventy five million. Eh. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what the updated cap situation is looking like. Presented by my guy JB. He says Alec Burks uh, gives them twelve players on the contract, including two rookies. Thirty million left in cap space. J. Ellis. Thirty million left in cap space. Alec mm-hmm. Burke, six million dollars. Yeah, good deal. Why not? Go ahead. Good, good deal, man. All right, all right. Next. <sighs> yeah, man. All right. So, does that? Who does that mean? It means the mellow deal's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming home. I'm, I'm coming, coming home. home. Oh no, man. man, the metal deal. It's, it's yeah, it's happening. You sure? You sure? I th- I I don't know. I just I feel it. I feel it. Um. Well, Steve from Queens wanted Jeremy Grant. That ship sailed. What else you want to talk about, Steve? <laughs> Yo, what's going on, fellas? How you doing, bro? What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. Yo, I just want to start off by saying. I'm extremely happy for Christian Woods because I don't know if y'all remember that draft day picture when he went undrafted and he just looked like they just took everything away from him. His head was like between his legs. And, and, and now, look, he, he got a little bag from Houston. So I'm extremely happy for him. Yeah, but they did that. That didn't really, they didn't finalize that, though. I don't think I don't think anything is official with Christian Wood as yet. Actually, I really hope it's not official because I think his bag should have been a little bigger. Tell you the truth, I, I don't know. I would, you know, um, I heard around maybe like twelve for him. But if he's willing to settle for that, why not? Yeah. But um, I was really pushing for Jeremy Grant, but now he's off the board. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's other guys available, but uh, okay. I was really looking forward to Jeremy Grant. Yeah. But Really, the, the the point guard situation with the Knicks, man, I'm really loving the idea of Westbrook, but I don't know if Houston's really uh, willing to budge on their asking price. I heard they're just asking for way too much. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't see it on, unless until the Harden thing um, moves. I don't think Westbrook is gonna be had for a low offer. I think you're gonna, you're gonna have to give up. You know, Houston gave up a lot for him. They're not just gonna right. wanna, you know, see that out the bag. This is business. You know yeah. what I'm saying, JLs? Yeah, they're gonna try to recoup something, but yeah. the market is not right right now. They might have to wait two more years for that to happen. Mm-hmm. So he's an expiring. <laughs> you know what I, I I really liked about Jeremy Grant, man, was um the way he attacked the Lakers in the bubble, man. He really tried to take it to LeBron and A D. Mm-hmm. And it was nights he was dropping twenty in that series, had to guard both of them. This kid is tough. This kid yeah, is man. tough, man. Gives you versatility on the wing. Mm-hmm. Give, give you a little play a little three, a little four, maybe a little mm-hmm. five, depending on how you're looking. Shot over forty percent from three. Yeah. Tough. He earned that, man. He earned that bag. Well earned. Well he definitely earned. did, man. Yeah. He's one of those guys, man. We talk we was talking about uh a guy from Miami who can he's versatile and play defense and shoot threes. That's something that can take you over the edge as an NBA team. Somebody you can plug in anywhere and hit a three. Everybody wants one of those. Yeah. And apparently Detroit really wanted one of those. $20 million <laughs> yeah. a, a year. <laughs> the oh man, Detroit. Wow. It, this is a blockbuster off season, like when they got uh, Ben Gordon and Charlie Ville in the waiver to those bags. Facts. They are back at it. Move over Blake Griffin. Move over Face Blake. of the franchise. Yeah. <laughs> Garrett Temple, one year deal, five million to the Chicago Bulls. Eh, whatever. Um, remember when Moutier bashed on him? Then Moutier dunked on him. What was that game against oh, yeah. Memphis? Who dunked on? Yeah, Moutier bashed on him. It was Moudier. The tank commander. Dude, it was Moudier. <laughs> okay. Moudier back? Are we bringing Moudier back too? Is he free What's agent? Joe Harris's deal? Uh, 75 million, four years. Woo! 75 for four years. So he got um, 15. 18? 15. That's 15? Um, let me do some quick math. 16. It's about okay. 16. 16 for... No, sorry. That is... Uh... <laughs> It's 18, right? 18, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm bugging. It is 18. It is 18. Okay, 18. All right. So I, 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 I thought 15 was around the market for Joe, and he got 18. Okay. Now, is that part of a signing trade for the beard? We haven't heard anything lately. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Joe Harris, get that bag. Got the bag, 18. Joe Harris got that bag. So we love you. We don't want you to go nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> made him an offer you couldn't refuse, man. Good for him. Exactly. Good, Get that good bag for me. Joe Harris, man. The shooters are getting the bags this year, man. The shooters are getting the bag, and damn. What is Van Vliet going to get if the shooters are getting the bag? Yeah. Because really? Van Vliet is one of those. Yeah. What is he? What did he average like seven? He put up seven shots a game, I think. Fred Van Vliet. With, um, Van Vliet. I think so. Seven threes yeah. a game. Yeah, how much did he put up? I think he put up seven. Uh, let's see. If I'm going off memory. Let's see. How many attempts for Fred Van Vliet? How many attempts? How many attempts? Yeah. Van Vliet put up... I got, got 6.9 from basketball reference. Six. Okay. There it is. 6.9. 6.9. All right. Which is pretty much seven. Yeah. My memory good. My memory yeah, good. Yeah, good stuff, man. Good stuff. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. You know, we, um, all last week we did our like top five at each position, you know, who we wanted for the Knicks. We started from the top of the list. We probably should have started from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Because Al- Alec Burke wasn't on the list. Started from the bottom, now we here? Yeah, we should have started from the bottom and worked <laughs> our way up. We started from the top, eliminated some, you know, some obvious ones that we weren't getting, but we should have probably started from the bottom up. Yeah. So now, now that Burke is here, I guess we're not going for Teague. No, no, you still need a point guard. You think it's like, mm, mm. Yeah, no, you still need a point guard for sure. Yeah, you still need a point guard. 
Um, so that's not that's just that she's not out of the woods yet. Okay, what else we got? What else we got, Nick? Talk to me. Let's Ron. go. Ron. So to everybody in the chat, how many people still got Rocket in the chat? 3,300 in the chat. Let's go. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. You guys know the protocol. CP from Knicks Fan TV. My man JL from Nick of Time Show. Number yep. one show for the fans, by the fans. You can follow us on social media as well. We're always talking Knicks. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Knicks Fan TV. Check mm-hmm. out the Knicks Fan TV store as well. We got some merch. And I don't know if this is a if this is a thing, Jay Ellis. But the video of Mitchell Robinson shooting uh the 10 threes. You saw that today, right? I did. News, news, yeah. news. Yeah, what's going on? Christian Wood yep. has agreed to a three year. Forty-one million dollar deal with the Rockets. With the Houston Rockets. Okay, all right. So let's bump that up, man. Put some respect on that guy's uh, on that ad, wallet man. there. All right. So Christian mil. Wood, no, not twenty-seven mil. 27. 40, Forty-one mil. Ah. Okay, so there we go. There we Christian go. Christian Wood cashing out. So that's got to mean Westbrook and Harden are staying, right? Or they're or, trying to convince him. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't think this this would be the move to like convince James Harden, but I mean, to, for them to invest that amount of money doesn't seem like they're they're rebuilding. I mean, you know what? It, you know what? CP is not. It's it's one of those moves where it's a medium move. Mm. Like if you move them, you you have a guy in Christian Wood who can possibly grow into a role. If mm-hmm. you don't, you don't. Like it doesn't. It doesn't. It's one of those moves. Yeah. It doesn't move the needle either or. Christian but, Wood. Right, I agree. All right, well, yeah, good for him, man. Well earned. Well mm-hmm. earned. Let's see what else is going on around the league. All right, let's see. All right. Yeah, so as I was saying, have you seen the, the clips of Mitch letting it rain? Yes. Yeah. He's rocking the Mitch Please Knicks Fan TV shirt. Also, yes. Yeah. Every time <laughs> he balls out, man, every time he's out there working out, he's rocking the Mitch Please t shirt. <laughs> and you can get yours in the store. Yes, my guy Mitch, man. Always repping. Always We should just make that the alternate. We should just make that the alternate jersey. Just make that the alternate uniforms. Just make the <laughs> Knicks fan TV Mitch Please t-shirt the alternate uniform. Because my guy, he goes to the gym in that shirt and he mm-hmm. turns into Anthony Davis. You know he's a bucket wearing that shirt. He's make a it bucket. Uniform. He's a bucket. Yeah, shout out to Mitch. Mm-hmm. Shout out Mitch's pops too. Mitch's pops left left a comment uh, a couple months back. Uh, oh yeah, Mitch Robinson Senior. Yeah, shout out Mitch Robinson Senior. Said he watches the show. So another another friend of the program. All right, shout out to you, Mitch Robinson. Senior. Yeah. Ooh, so they're saying that what I miss, what there's I miss. a more sinister plot here in this Mason Plumley and Jeremy Grant move because John Hollinger is saying that this is the exact salary to match a Blake Griffin deal in a sign and trade. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. To be determined. Interesting. Interesting. I don't I don't know. That's that's just what John Hollinger the Athletic is saying. That the salaries I need that to be broken down more from from yeah. him later because I I feel like I'm missing that. something. Yeah, <laughs> we we got to see. I don't I don't know. We'll, we'll see what unfolds here. It just doesn't add up. You got to figure Blake Griffin's getting traded. Right. It has to be getting traded. There's no doubt about it. So is that the move? And if you're Detroit, I mean, if you're Denver, why would you? Well, I guess if Jeremy Grant was going to walk anyway. Kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. Because of sign and trade with Pistons? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, that, that's just what he threw out there. 
Could be interesting, though. It just doesn't make sense that they would have all this money. You know, all pun intended with the power forward jokes. But uh, it just doesn't make sense that they mm. would invest this much in, in these in these guys. Still have Blake under his deal. Yeah. And not, you know, trade him. And if they trade him, maybe they just swap them for each other. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. So pretty much Blake is going to the Nuggets kind of thing? Could, could be. Could be Blake to the Nuggets. Hmm. Things that make you yeah. go, hmm. Yeah. Uh, Derek Jones to Portland. Okay. Derek Jones to Portland. So there's another wing going to Portland, J. Ellis. You, uh, hey, you be the so, judge, man. Yeah, I see what you're saying, man. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Writing's on the wall for Melo, it seems yeah. like. Yep, yep, yep. They just keep signing wings and more wings and more wings. It's like, oh, word. Mm-hmm. This is how you treat yeah. me? More Jared on Alec Kelly Burks. Again. More on Alec Burks. Uh, remember, he played for the Jazz. Walt Perrin was there. Yeah, I figured that was a Walt Perrin move. Yeah, drafted. <laughs> he had Johnny Bryant there as well. Mm-hmm. So, connections, connections, connections. Exactly. All about relationships. Yeah. CAA client. Yeah. No. Right. Can we get a point <laughs> card in here ready, man? All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, point guard, they don't let's go don't. to, uh, let me hear from Damien for the Bronx, and then I'm going to reset the phones. Damien, what's going on, bro? Yo, what's going on, guys? I love what you do. It, just want to say, man, that I, as a Knicks fan, I know this is going to happen. Um, there's a lot of money out there, though, man. It's a pandemic. I don't know what's going on, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> but listen, like I want to, I want to talk to you guys about Ingram, Brandon Ingram, restricted free agent, right? Who, Not happening. I don't know. At least you guys handle that. And then I always knew it was going to come down either to DJ Augustine or Jay Holiday. You know, holiday dude that was playing for us mm-hmm. like a while back. Mm-hmm. So that's up, bros. Stay safe out there. Answer that. And, you know, appreciate you guys. Take care, Damien. Thanks for calling, man. Shout out to the BX. Shout out to everybody in BX, man. Got family in the BX, man. Always, uh, always show love. Guys. Um, so what would you say? Well, Ingram, we don't have a shot at Ingram. No way it's happening. Yeah, we don't have a shot at Ingram. What was just saying that the Christian would... Is uh, the Christian Wood deal is going to be part of a sign and trade? Okay, I see what's happening. Yeah, Christian Wood is going to be part of a sign and trade. So, Got it. And there that is. Derek okay. Jones, two year, nineteen mil million to the Portland Trail Blazers. All right. Point guard, point guard, point. Guard. Any point guards go yet? Not one. No Teague, no Augusty, no Van Fleet. Drogic is off the board. Super bag. Drogic's got a bag. You know what? Didn't they say that Van Fleet was going to meet with the teams over the weekend? Yeah. So you know what, CP? Well, which, which teams? <laughs> it's only the next. Me, Toronto, and <laughs> New York. Because yeah. no one else got money left. Yeah. No one else got money left. It's going yeah. to be us too. So you know what, <laughs> CP? Mm-hmm. We might not see any CP, any of PG movements until that meeting happens. Yeah, because you know how that works. Yes, it's the domino. It's a domino effect. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I think the Hayward deal, and I think Van Fleet is is holding things up. You could be right. Yeah, you could definitely be right. Mm-hmm. Someone in the chat said, "Uh, <laughs> with Alec Burks and Reggie Bullock, if Knox can't get off the bench this time, it's over for him." <laughs> 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 oh man uh, Ari's in the chat Happy hour Ari He said he's twisted <laughs> 1025 Ari's in his bag Already in the bag Yeah yep. Yeah. Ari's in his bag Early Shout out to Ari man Yeah man Said he said he's been sipping man I've been out with Ari A couple times man He's he's a, he's a wild boy man But that's my guy Oh yeah <laughs> Yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's right. The the, the game. Yeah, like, remember when yeah. we went to Clyde's, bro, and Ari was, oh, man. Oh, Ari man. was smashed. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy. He's a funny dude. Ari's that dude. Mm -hmm. Shout out, shout out, Ari. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Shout out our Facebook people too, man. Shout out everybody on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um, Shout out to more Super Chats came in. Leo Skorupski. Shout out Leo, Leo Skorupski with a Super Chat. And Uptown Twan, he said, start the tankathon already. <laughs> no one gets paid. <laughs> no one gets paid and we get caid. Shout out hey, I like that. I like, I like that. that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. No one gets paid and we get paid. Danny Thomas says he wants to trade for Buddy and Lonzo. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Buddy and Lonzo. Yep. Yeah. Buddy, Buddy and Lonzo. Let's see what else we got going on. Refresh. Refresh. Refreshing it. Yeah. JL, so I got to grab some water, man. I'm, I'm going to throw the, uh, the camera on you if you just want to recap what's going on. All right. Cool. All right. I'm refreshing as well. Yes, sir. You are back. No new news. Only Derek Jones Jr. news as so far. Shout out to you. We got 400 in KOT chat. Hey, not quite 2,000, but 400 in KOT chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat right now. Hope you're enjoying the show. Knicks Fan TV, Nick and Tom Show. Holding down. The free agency news live as it's going on. Shout out to you guys. Who do you guys want the Knicks to sign? Question from V. Dichuna. I mean, as of today, I want I'm I'm a Hayward guy. CP is not a Hayward guy. I think I'm leaning towards getting a Hayward in here for a few years. I feel like he'd be a solid piece for us. Someone who could start, someone who's not going to monopolize the ball. He's going to be able to pass and shoot. I'm also like DJ Augustine, too. Point guard. He can shoot threes, run pick and roll, 75, 75 percentile and pick and roll. Also ran pick and roll at the highest rate of any point guard in the NBA. So those are my choices right now for someone to pick up. I would love Lonzo, too. I would love Lonzo, too. It's just that Lonzo ball. You, you know that they're trying, going to try to fleece us for a Lonzo ball deal. Now. Lonzo, Kira, any of those guys, they're going to try to fleece us for any of those guys. But Lonzo ball with the team right now just makes complete sense to me. So I would definitely would like Lonzo over here. Ali used to Mitch playing defense. Also shooting threes. The threes have improved. Lonzo ball in New York would absolutely love it. For sure, for sure. A shout out, shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to Steven, to Nalas, John Talento, always hold me down. Playboy, Curtis Brown, Fritz, always hold me down, Alessander, Rick Rowe, Johnny T21. Shout out to you guys. Let's refresh, see if there's any more news. Looking around Nick's Twitter. No new news so far. We all, all right, still waiting right, for a point guard, right, man. Right, waiting for a point guard to get signed. CP, you're back. All right, how are we, how are we looking? Anything? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. All right. All right, so what we do, take a couple more calls. I'm going to reset the switchboard. Take a couple more calls. And... uh. That's about it. This, this ain't gonna be a telethon, people. I'm gonna tell you that. And like we we, <laughs> we, we gotta cut this thing fairly shortly because uh any more Alec Burke type deals, I'm going to bed. So <laughs> <laughs> wrap it up, B. Yeah, we gonna we gonna wrap it up wrap fairly shortly here. It up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We 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 are gonna wrap this thing up very shortly. Um, facts. Dave Chappelle on Netflix right now. Yeah. <laughs> Watch facts. 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 <laughs> all right. So all right, so we'll reset the calls. Um, hit that thumbs up button for you boys one more time. Definitely appreciate that. What, Shout out to Allah Watson, K Steel, K Steel for three years at point guard. Shout out, to yeah. <laughs> K Steel is, is 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 one of uh, KOT 
one of our KO team members. Shout out to Yeah, man. Shout, shout out Cassie. <laughs> uh, free agency. All right. Yo. Yeah, man. Jay Ellis, what do you think we would give up for, for Ball? It's hard to say because you feel like the um the front office is kind of tight lipped when it comes to picks at this point. Yeah. So it's hard to say what they're going to give up for Ball. Like, I definitely feel like at least a lower Dallas pick. Um, They might ask for Knox, but with Kenny Payne here, I feel like that night not being the cards. But um, for me, I don't know. I might, I might give up Knox in a, in a, in a lower Dallas for, for him, yo. I might do that. For Lonzo? Yeah. Um. Yeah, why not, man? <clears throat> you do not Knox in the low Dallas. Oh, for, for I mean two picks. I mean you got to make the salaries work a little bit. Well, no, the Knicks could absorb his contract. Or Knox in a second. No, I would just do Knox for Lonzo straight up. That's you want? Do you think they're gonna take Knox or a second? Yeah, I give him. I, I give him a second. I'm not giving him a first. No way. Knox in a second, because at this point, Knox is a is a mystery. <clears throat> yeah, that's a fact. So I don't think Knox Knox for Lonzo straight up. That's not happening. Nah, second round pick. That's that's as far as I go. Knox in a second. Yeah. Knox in a second. I'll do that. I do that. Figuring out live, man. We talking through tra- trades right now live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, to everybody in the chat, hit that thumbs up on three boys. You're getting the phone lines back up and running. All right, phone lines are up. Just need uh, Knicks fan TV Dave in there to uh, screen the calls, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, let's get our refresh on, JL. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Alec Burks, just to recap everybody, uh, Alec Burks, a member of the New York Knicks, one year, $6 million, uh, former member of the Utah Jazz, drafted, um, I think, he, I'm pretty sure he was drafted by the Jazz and Walt Perrin. And so, yeah, Walt some, Perrin drafted him. Yeah, you have some Walt familiarity there. And let's see. Now John Wall wants out of <laughs> John Wall wants out of DC. Well, once he saw that Bertans bag, he was like, "Shoot!" He, he did all the math between him, Bertans, right? and Wall, and was like, "Yeah, He's this like, ain't gonna work. I'm not getting any help." That's what you <laughs> yeah. to tell me. You no help with the Magic Johnson meme. I'm not gonna be here. Rockets, Wizards, talks on Russell for John Wall stall. Wall has made it clear he wants a trade out of Washington to happen. Hmm. All right, good good luck with that. Good Don't luck with that. Here. Both of y'all injury. You're you're even more injury prone. If that Spider Man meme came to life, it'd be John Wall and Westbrook. Facts. <laughs> for, for real. You're just coming off an injury. Can't John, John Wall and uh, and Westbrook. Don't John Wall have like eight years left on his contract for like 50, 50 yeah. million a yeah. year? <laughs> Shout out my guy Peter Plug. Peter Plug sounds like he, he wants uh he wants wall. Or or he's just hyping up a trade. I mean that pick and roll would be nice for the 10 games he's healthy. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good too. I'm definitely good. Yeah. I'm definitely good I'm on super wall. Super good. Give me that give was me, a joke. Give me Beal. That was a joke. Yeah. I, I do not want wall here. Yeah. <laughs> give me give me Beal. That that is it. Wall is witted ashed and 50 million. No way, man. Jesus. No way. So Lucy, the artist, he said Lonzo's a light skinned Frank. No Lonzo. Um, light skinned Frank. No, nah, Lonzo's Lonzo's better than Frank. Don't play yourself. Lonzo's definitely better than Frank. Gartrell Davis, uh, different in doing one year deals this year than last year. We will have better coaching and direction. Fizz couldn't coach and Mills had no clue what he wanted to do. I feel that. Keith Sinclair, what's going on, man? Just salute to all the mods. All right, let's get to the phones, man. We we are racked up. Got a couple calls in there. Kenyon, what's going on, bro? 
Hey, what's going on, man? Long time no. Hello. Long yeah, we time no see. Last time I spoke to you guys when I wanted to get rid of um, our old coach, but I wanted to say something. Knicks fans, we gotta be patient. Like I know I'm gonna get hear some rules now, but we got Frank Nicotina, right? Mm-hmm. He's 22 years old. Why can't we ever be patient? I mean, we just had a, the, we just drafted a player a year in college, and that's about his age as well. Like players need to develop, so. I say give Frank a chance at the point guard and then see what you can pick up here with these remaining free agents. But I wouldn't make any stupid trade that would be paying someone like this guy from Boston all this set of money. Like, go ahead. We're not going to be great next year, but we'll be a much improved product. Yeah. And we got picks coming up. Save your picks. And you, hopefully you run into that guard you guys the- want. But I think Frank's going to have a breakout year personally. Um, I mean... That's left to be seen, Kenyon, and appreciate the call. But the thing is, though, is like you can't go into the season with just Frank as your as your point guard. With Frank and DSJ as your point guard options, man, can't do yeah. that. Can't do that, yeah. JLs. You'll sink the ship. Yeah, my my ideal my ideal situation was have an actual lead point guard and then have Frank back him up and ship DSJ. That's Got what to. I wanted. You you got to factor in a groin injury. You know that's going to happen. <laughs> like I mean, let's just be real. Man. Frank has to prove to be durable first and foremost. That's to be, true. To, you can't just give him the keys. Can't nah, do that. You can't give him the keys, but you want him to have a defined role. That's, yes. that's what really it is. Yes. You want to have a defined role with consistent minutes game after. Yeah. That's what nah, you're you You can't do that, man. You got to factor in 15 games due to a groin injury for Frank. And so, no, 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 no. And he can still give his role. Why does everybody want Frank to be the starting point guard? He, that he may not be that guy. Why can't we accept that? And still be okay with his role, JLs. I just want him to get minutes. Yeah, he'll he'll get his minutes. Tibbs, Tibbs will find will find some minutes for him, no doubt. But I don't, you know, starting point guard, nah. Remember, remember the remember the news earlier that was like Frank Nilkin is penciled into the starting point guard at this moment. Remember that news? Yeah. Who else was in training camp? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> else was there. Smith Jr. <laughs> Nobody else was there. And, 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 and people got so gassed off of that. Well, he, he likes Frank. He likes DSA. Well, what else is he going to say? We're going to clean these guys out of here? <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I knew, I knew from then Alfred Payton was gone. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, process of elimination. <laughs> yeah. Mentioned Frank, mess DSJ. They mentioned Alfred at all. Facts. He's gone. Do, do, do. Facts. Um, <laughs> super chat from Will Grimotes says John Wall, Kentucky ties guaranteed. Knicks make a call, even if it doesn't happen. Call will be made. I mean, I all right. I guess you know Randall got Kentucky ties. You have to be Kentucky fried out of here. Uh, we don't. Have, why do we have to do these cutesy calls just to check in and yeah, not do nothing? We don't, we don't we don't need to do that. Exactly. Like this, that's what we did with Westbrook. We wasn't really he was never serious about Westbrook. Yeah. He was never serious. We just wasting time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. This is um oh Begley posted the clip of uh there's a clip of me talking uh talking about Carmelo on the SNY pod on the SNY uh broadcast. Mm. If Melo come here, they're gonna play this clip for him. So. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna play this clip for Melo, man. I'm never getting a Melo interview, man. Hey, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm never getting a Melo interview, never getting man. Melo interview. It's over. They it is over, man. <laughs> Listen, I, I said I want Melo to win a ring. Yes, I want you Mello did. You to did. Win a ring. You did say that. Let me see. Let me see if I pull it up. Hang on, bro. Hang on. Happen. Uh, I wouldn't go that far yet, obviously, because <laughs> we're not there. Listen, listen. But. The if Melo comes to the to Knicks, is, right, guys? Y'all Portland. gonna have to at I've heard him that Portland like crazy, has some confidence right, that for an they could be in on or maybe get. Oh, I'm about to play the clip. You know, Am I on this one? Carmelo, Portland. Mm-hmm. You know, the oh, Knicks will be an obvious clip. come here. What the interest? I think there's going to be discussions, and you know, based on what some teams are saying, they think it's gonna happen. Litigate the damage. All right. Yeah. So Ian Ian was saying that uh, that uh, there is mutual interest. That, that's what Ian was saying. I'm trying to find. Said mutual interest. My clip okay. on that one. 
Salute to everybody that came through and rep for KFTV today, though. We, we were in there heavy. Chat was in there heavy on uh, the put back Ian, Beg- Ian Begley's show. Yo, I, yo, I, I missed this one. My job had me pinned down like I was a WWF wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> I caught yesterday's, though. T. T Williams said, uh, I'm going to have to walk it back. No, it's not a walk back. I would, Of nah, course, nah. I would welcome Melo here, but I don't, I don't want him here. Of course, I welcome Melo here. Of course, it's, you know it's called Melo Anthony at the end. Of yeah, the day, he's, he's a legend. He's still a legend. He's still a legend. He still put New York on his back. Yeah, for a while he's here. He had some great moments, and we always gonna appreciate any and everything that Melo has done in New York, for sure. Including play ball, the way he handled the media, the way he handled the fans, and the way he handled Phil Jackson when he was here. It is always gonna be utmost respect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's just yeah. let's be clear now. <laughs> that wall for Westbrook thing just makes no sense for me, bro. None. None. It is, it is. I mean, it might make sense for um for the for uh the Wizards. More, um, for the, more than the Houston. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Could make Houston don't make no damn Wizards sense. More than, more than uh more than Houston for sure. Mm-hmm. I, I'm sure that's a quick way to get. Uh, well, Harden, Harden, and Wall were. Um, it, it, it. Uh, Harden, Harden, and, and John Wall were, were balling in the off season a couple weeks ago. They were out in L.A. Ah, uh, who buddies? Yeah, that's always phase one. Yeah. Okay. Max. Ain't that the way it usually happens? You just play ball in the park. And it's like I want to play with you now. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Recruiting, yeah, man. man. Bobby Porter, too. That's another guy with his mutual interest. He'll probably be back. Yeah, the way these chips are falling. Yeah. Move Randall, Bobby Porter, stretch Facts. four. Facts. On the cheap, he'll be back. Facts. Taj Facts. Gibson, Facts. too. Mm-hmm. Look out for that name. All right, let's go to um, Willie from Jamaica. Willie, what's going on, man? Bumba. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, here. Yo, Bridget, walk one. Celestia, I know. Celestia, I know. Big thumbs up, Funa Bridget, Ave from Jamaica. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Celestia, I know. But look here, look here. I have a free to, to bring to the attention from here, so, which I think applied to the current situation. Mm-hmm. I say, we say, you know, Minotrona Karn. But never call no foul. What that means literally is that you have to show yourself who you are, mm-hmm. not who you call yourself to be. You see me? Mm-hmm. So I believe <laughs> the current administration is truly showing themselves, not telling lies and propaganda. You see me? Yeah. 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 I see. I see you, Brechin. You gotta. You gotta turn down your volume, man. But I, I, pre- yeah. I appreciate the call. But First he, of all, he had a hype man because I heard the, the echo. Oh, you background. heard you heard me in the background, like, aye, 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 aye. <laughs> yeah, no, the connection wasn't good, man. But no, definitely respect, man. Definitely respect on the call. But he's he's basically just saying he's he's got faith in the front office, bro. He's got faith in the front office, and you know they they're taking a patient approach mm-hmm. in terms of building this thing, you know, brick by brick, one by one. So, um, yeah, well, you just gotta take it one day at a time, man. Just gotta take it one day at a time, man. One, one, one day at a time, bro. Yeah, these, these point we ain't gonna see no point guard till Van Fleet get these get these uh, meetings out the way, man. Yeah, that's the way I'm seeing it. You gotta He's wait, wait and see what out. happens with Van Fleet and and uh, Hayward. He's holding everybody up. Yeah, man. See what happens with with uh, with Van Fleet and Hayward, man. Mm-hmm. Now, big up the roster, though, man. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, man. Big up yourself. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hit that <laughs> thumbs up for you boys. Like he said, Jay, Jay in the building. Jay from Florida, what's going on, bro? Here. What Better up, Jay? late than never. Mad Jays. Yeah, I'm relaxed over here. I'm relaxed because we got a front office that's, that know what they're doing. That's taking it easy. That's letting things sort them stuff out. Got Nick fans going crazy. John Wall on Twitter. At 50 million a year for the next 10 years. Crazy. Lock up no. all your caps. That's not smart, man. Nick fans, we got to chill, man. Just let everything sort itself out. A play is going to come up, and when the player comes up, we're going to be well positioned. This summer might, this winter might not be the time we get a we get a max player. Mm-hmm. We, we just got to chill, wait, just wait for things to fall in place. Tell him. You know we got Obi. Obi, Obi, get some shots. If you see my man Randall, ain't show Obi no love on the IG. 
No polls, <laughs> no IG yep. polls, nothing, bro. No nothing. love at all. So nothing. It, it already shows you where he at in his mind. That's RJ a fact. Show love. I think Miss show love. Randall ain't show no love. So we know what time it is with Randall. That's a um, fact. We got to get him out of here, even if we got to give him a pick. His, his, his attitude is nasty, bro. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but... You know, a lot of stuff, Randall, they say Randall come in uh, come in late and he the first one out the locker room after the game. And you supposed to be the vet? Nah, bro, I'm good. Well, other than that, man, we chilling. I'm, this is the best offseason in 20 years, right? No Knicks signed Tim Hardaway for $80 million. We don't got that going on. <laughs> they chilling, waiting for everything to sort itself out. If they do something, it might be for Bogdan, but Bogdan ain't no, no box office. So Leon Rose ain't going to come to New York and sign no Bogdan for $80 million. He's going to get somebody box office. They waiting for the right player. He's not going to show his cards. He's going to chill until 2021. Hopefully we get K to BJ Boston and run it up. I'm gone. Run it up. for Hit thumbs up. Subscribe. Everything for my boys. Run it up now. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. All right. Yeah, sure. Jay from Florida. Hey, I'm with him. I'm with him, man. There's not, not much else I could add to that, Jails. No, nah, definitely not, Patient man. Patient approach. Patient exactly. approach. You know what I'm saying? We can still get bogged. You think? What do you think it takes to get bogged? Three? You do three years? Three years at sixteen? Well, let's see. Joe Harris just got eighteen. Joe Harris just got eighteen. Bertans got roughly the same, right? Bertans got what seventeen, eighteen? Yeah, seventeen, let's, let's eighteen. Refresh this. But they're like better. Sh- they're better shooters. By how much though? I mean, I mean, Bogdan shot what thirty eight percent. He's he's right around there. Bertan, I mean, Bertans is dead shot shooter. But, I mean, if you want to if you want to compare Bogdan to Joe Harris, right? I mean, Bogdan has a better all around game though. I think that's I think that's a comparable market though. So, but again, it, you know, with with the Kings giving Swipe it a bag. Um, are they still in the hunt? For Bogdan. So will they match any deal or are they still looking for a sign and trade? Right. Bogdan is at 37%. Right. Seven attempts. Pretty high attempts. Yeah. I think it's comparable. I think it's comparable. All right. Let's recap some things. So to everybody in the chat, welcome to the show. Number one show for the fans by the fans. How are we looking? We still at 3,000. Yep. 3,000 in the chat. Hit that like button like Will, like Jay from Florida was saying. Hit that thumbs up button. Okay. Um, Wizards and, and Rockets stall on Russell Westbrook for John Wall trade. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. The, Lake, the Lakers got the deal of the day, though, man. The Lakers got John, <laughs> Montrez Harrell for yeah. the mid-level exception. For the mid. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. And you know what's so funny, JLs, is that... Um, for a while, not for a while, but a couple of weeks ago, there was a a, um, a survey done by the Athletic on uh, like twenty agents, unnamed agents, and one guy just started going off about clutch and how they're using players and and Rich Paul just going in, just roasting them. And hmm. uh, it's 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 very interesting. You know, you, you, it's hard to take sides in this thing when you don't know really the ins and outs. But you know, Montrez Harrell taking a mid level exception. Yeah, to stay with the Lakers, man. I need to read this to see what these guys be talking about. Yeah. He's saying because they're saying they're robbing the players. Yeah, like, me, how are they robbing I, the players. I gotta try to. F- let me see if I can find this real quick. Are like taking too big of a cut, or yeah, they let me, like? Let me see if I can find this real quick. So to everybody in chat, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Let me take this call while I find this, and uh, go ahead with it. Milton, what's going on? Uh, Milton from Brooklyn, what's going? Got on? A... What's going on, fellas? Let me just say, I want, I, I just want to thank you guys I just want to thank the only because they're the only sports team in the world that's even saying. Because I'm gonna go nuts, bro. How do you have a team for 30 years or more, since Mark Jackson in my eyes, never with a point guard? You got an opportunity to get Hallenberg, and you can change things around. It's like a, it's like a football team never having a good quarterback. You That's have right. to get a point guard. I just That's don't right. understand the mindset of the team. I'm going to give these guys a little time because they're new, mm-hmm. and I'm actually feeling a little better than normal. 
but you cannot tell me we're going to keep saying let's stay young and let's 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 do the process and let's keep losing and hoping we get the number one pick. I mean, how many times are we going to do that? I'm sitting here on my knees with candles, wishing <laughs> I could get Zion, and nothing happened. <laughs> for what? For what, man? And I'm telling you something right now. I would put Frank Milikina on my back, walk him to New Orleans barefooted over broken glass to trade him for Lonzo. If anybody thinks he could tie Lonzo's shoe, you are insane. That is a point guard that likes to pass first, that has handles. That's a point guard. Frank is nothing but off the bench, once in a while defender. No way in hell is he a point guard. I am sorry. Like, uh, enough of the insanity. You guys are like him because, oh, we drafted him and he's our guy. No, that's not a point guard. Okay? <laughs> he's not a point guard. This team needs a point guard, and this team better wake up and smell the cough. I'd rather win. This is what I want to see. I want to see this team have young players find out what it is to taste, to taste what it is to fight for an eight seed, to want to have big games in the garden. I don't care how minimal those games are. They mean something. You start winning, you start believing. Then you have three agents that won't come here, you jackasses. Why do you want to keep winning 15 games and trying to dream for a lottery pick? you got to develop players, number one. You have to start winning games and show free agents that this team is on the right side up. We can't keep losing. So, you know what? I'll take Westbrook. I'll get the garden popping. I'll be fighting for AC. Because you have all these fans that are crying about they don't want to do that and they want to get drafted. How pumped up would you be to see the Knicks and the Nets in the first round? Tell me about them apples. Tell me about those apples. All right? I am ready to step it up a notch. I am tired of winning 20 days. All right? Let's I'm go. I'm 49 years old, and damn it, I deserve it. Let's go, Milton. Tell him why you mad, Milton. The, f- the Milton, pain. Going off. That is a Knicks fan, ladies the and passion, gentlemen. The tears. That is a Knicks fan, ladies and gentlemen. Note that. I loved it. Rate that call in the chat, man. One being the best, five being the worst. Rate that chat. Rate it in the chat. I don't agree with none of that he just said, but I felt it. <laughs> it should have been the other way around. One, one being the worst, five being the best. But my man was on point. Exactly. Milton was on point with it, man. I, I agree with that. I, he I said it. he had the candles waiting on Zion. That had me. Yeah. You remember the candles? On, remember the candle prayer? Baby? Nah, bro, I mean, bro, like, bro, bro, oh like last God. year, last off season was pain. That, that was torture. That, that was torture. That was torture. That was. Uh-huh. But, but before we get into that, news, mm-hmm. news, news. Free agent Jeremy Grant has agreed to a three-year deal, but Denver has matched the deal. What? But I thought I thought he had a player option. Okay. Denver, Denver match. matched the three year offer Jeremy Grant Jeremy Grant received from Detroit. Grant enjoyed his time in Denver and wanted to enhance role with the Pistons. Okay. All right. So he was staying. Jeremy Grant staying. Staying in Denver. False alarm. False alarm. False alarm. But yeah, False. my guy melted, man, with the epic, epic meltdown. Woo. Yeah, that was, um. Li- listen, man, we feeling your pain, man. We feel your we pain, feel Milton, we bro. We feel it, man. We living through with you, bro. Feel, feel your pain, man. That's how we here, man. That's how we here. Yeah, here. yeah. Listen, it's been a long time coming, man. It's been a long time coming. If you're, if you're a Nick fan as, as old as Milton is and I am and Jay Ellis is, it's been a while. Yeah, if you're still a, a fan, while. if you're still here. It's been a long time. So (laughs) he said, I will walk Frank to New Orleans. Barefoot. (laughs) Lonzo. Yeah, let's let's be real. Uh, Yeah, let's let's be real. Like, you know, Lonzo's a better point guard than Frank. I'll take Lonzo. He is. He's a better point guard than Frank. For sure. So yeah. (laughs) Wow. Oh my lord. Milton went off. Oh, I love man. it though. I love it. I yeah. love it too, man. You gotta love next. That was passion. Listen, he kept it a buck. We need a point guard. Time to start winning, but at the same time, listen. B, I, 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 you pay, the, the pay, the P word is is not something that Nick says. Like they don't want to be patient, jails, right? They want playoffs. They don't want to be exactly. patient. Exactly. But you, you can't. 
handcuff yourself on the way to doing that. You know, right. go get John Wall or go, right. you know, all these splash moves. Westbrook, okay, I could see it a little bit more, but still, still, yeah. be patient with this thing. What happens sometimes is when you're not patient and you throw the money at you thinking, oh, this is going to work, this is going to work, it actually ends up working to your detriment. Yeah. You set yourself back another few years. Right. Trying not to be patient. Yeah. Milton, that was epic. That was an epic rant. Epic call. That was a top five down line rant right there. Definitely. Without question. <laughs> man. Without question, man. Sheesh. Other, oh, other new CP. Okay. Small, something small. Mm-hmm. Uh, league source says Robin Lopez has agreed to terms with the Washington Wizards. Okay. Rallo going to the Wizards. He, mm-hmm. I think he had opted out of his player option with the Bucks. He got tired of his brother. Then, then we was tired of all that, all the gimmicks. Yeah, all the brother he loves. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm tired, tired all of putting you in that wrestling. Him and him and the, him, yeah. him and Jonas were doing uh, before the games. Didn't, didn't like that. Yeah. It's like I need my own space, I need my own room. <laughs> I, I feel you. I'm out. I feel you. Okay. All right. So, so that's that. Um, what else happened in free agency? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. See. Shout out to Milton, man. That was good. That was losing some energy, man. He got he got us back up. Okay, Joe Harris to the Nets. Um, four year deal, seventy five million. Good for him. Would have loved to have had him here. Derek Jones of the Miami Heat is going out west to the Rose Garden, going to the Portland Trail Blazers. Two year deal, nineteen mil. Mm. As we heard, Jeremy Grant is staying with the Denver Nuggets. False alarm. Staying with the Nuggets, better deal for him anyway. Knicks and Alec Burks, one-year deal, $6 million. Reunited with Walt Perrin and Johnny Bryant from the Utah days. Shooter, 40% from three, could always use it. Let's go. Bring him off the bench. I'm cool with it. Dwight Howard to the 76ers, JL. 76ers getting some uh, some depth behind Embiid. I like that move. I like that move. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, they Sixers did a great job in the draft as well. That's whew, the the personalities at center. That has to be the most yeah personality oh, yeah, yeah. ever in the NBA. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I, yeah. I just want to watch Dwight Howard and <laughs> and B play cards for a half an hour. That'll be made for TV. Yeah, yeah that, big that's goofy. A fact. That's a fact. Balls of <laughs> uh, De'Aaron Fox got the mega bag of the night. Five year, one sixty three. Throw it in the bag. Bags, J. Ellis. That's Yeesh. a whole lot of PS5s, Yeesh. man. Oh, yeah. Danilo Gallinari going to the Atlanta Hawks. Three years, $61.5 million. The highest contract for a non-All-Star. He wanted to win now. <laughs> it win that bag. He went, That's what he meant. He win meant that say, bag. I wanted to win that bag now. I see that. Yeah, yeah. That's a good negotiating tactic. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, I want to win. I want to win now. I mean, yeah. if you want me, you got to pay up. All right, I like that. Okay, well. I like that, JL. So I, I, I need to uh, make sure my agent's on top of things like that. Big facts. Rodney Hood <laughs> going to the Blazers. Two-year deal, $21 million. Uh, whatever. Um, Fox, Max deal. Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson going back to Utah four years, fifty-two million. Clarkson stepped his game back up, man. Had an excellent season with the Jazz last year. Um, so great job by, by Clarkson to re-up and get that back. Derek Favors goes back to the Jazz, three-year deal, thirty million dollar deal. They've been talking, they've been clamoring for him since he left. So that was uh, a reunion that was destined to happen. Malik Beasley, my pick. Staying in the Minnesota with the Minnesota Timberwolves four yeah. year deal, sixty mil. Malik Beasley sticking around. Fred Van Fleet will meet with multiple teams at the start of free agency. I can't see it being more than the Raptors and the Knicks at this point. That's multiple. Well, yeah, that is multiple. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Math, a little math. Okay. Uh Wes Matthews Jails. One year, three point six million with the Los Angeles Lakers. And Goran Dragic. Up. Oh, Two-year deal. What do we got? Free agent Marcus Morris has agreed to return to the Clippers. Okay. Mook going to the Clippers. 
four years, $64 million, JL. So he got 16. He stuck around. He he got he got the one year bag for 15 from the Knicks. Mm-hmm. And now he's got four more years. So he's got a security. Good for him. Good for him. Good for Good Mook. For Mook. Good, good for Mook. Glad he didn't come back. <laughs> now the Montrezl Harrell's not there. Huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. Ah, more more, back more me? money to go around. Yep. Yeah. Mook to the Clips. Wow. Got the same bag with a diminished role. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. See how Kawhi feels about that. Let's see how he feels about that. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody in chat said we're missing Helen News. Well, the Knicks ain't signing nobody, so what the hell are we missing? Um, what else we got going on here? Trey Burke to the Mavs, three year deal, $10 yeah. million dollar range. Good for Trey Burke. Facundo Campazzo, J. Ellis, the Argentinian playmaker, two year deal going to the Nuggets. Whoa, wait a minute. Yep, wait. Okay, I mean, let me wait for an official source, but somebody said that that uh, Christian, that um, Jeremy Grant rejected the Nuggets' offer to sign with the Pistons. Grant is deciding to go to Detroit, even though Denver matched the offer. Okay, right. That's what I figured because he's not a restricted free agent. So I didn't understand all the all the match and talk that they were talking about there. Hmm. All right, so false alarm, Jeremy Grant okay. isn't. Going back to Denver. Okay. Good for Jeremy Grant. Good for Jeremy Grant. Got Going it. To Detroit, who's taking over the power forward. <laughs> the right? power forward jokes. They are taking it from the Knicks. Yes. Let them have it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let him have it. Jeremy Grant. Three year. 60. He earned it, JL. It's well earned. Good job. Yeah, man. Played that defense. Got the shooting up. Sure did. Deserved it, man. Sure did. All right. So that was that. We got moved back to the Clippers. We got Trey Burke. Mason Plumlee with the bag of all bags. Three year deal. 25 million to Detroit. Mm-hmm. And Jaleel Okafor is back. Busy. In Detroit. All right. More big men for you. More big men for you. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Josh Jackson. Detroit. That's right. Left Phoenix. Yep. Also in Detroit. Mm-hmm. Dwayne Bacon. To the Magic. Gotta love Bacon. Gotta love Bacon. You know? <laughs> Some people don't mess with the swine jails. Yeah. But how can you say no? <laughs> <laughs> Bacon, egg, and cheese all day over here. All right. All day. Breakfast deli in Brooklyn. Oh, all yeah. day. Oh, yeah. All day. All day. Okay. So to everybody in the chat, hit that thumbs up button for you, boys. A couple more calls for we wrap. It's kind of quiet here in New York right now. Mm-hmm. We appreciate everybody. Dan from Long Island, what's going on, man? What's good, fellas? Um, by the way, man, that's tough to follow Milton, man, with that last call. Wow. Milton had enough. I, first of all, to the guy who called earlier talking about he thinks Frank's, this is going to be Frank's break, breakout year. Based on what? What exactly has Frank done to lead anybody to believe that he deserves the keys to the car? I'm, I'm shocked, you mm-hmm. know, when people talk like that. It's mm-hmm. crazy. And then. You know, here's my question, though, fellas. There had to be a plan for Randall, right? And I'm not saying it has to happen today, but there has to be a plan, right? I mean, you guys have been talking all summer. They want to get rid of Randall. They have to have ideas of what they can do with this cat. But I agree with the gentleman who called from Florida before. Like, Randall's going to be a terror in the clubhouse if that cat ain't, ain't out of here. Because he, he, I don't think he plays well with others to begin with. And, you know... I, I'm just not sure he's the right guy to have around. I don't know what the plan is. And here's the other thing. We have to spend some money, right? Because don't we have to get to a minimum? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. So there, there is a right? floor. There is a floor. But, but uh, what the athletic is saying is that they have some time to, uh, to, to conserve that money. And what happens is if they don't meet it, then that money gets spread out to the to the players on the roster. Yeah, so we don't have to. You don't have to spend it right away. We have like a month, right, CP? Yeah, I think we have a okay. month. All right, because that's what's like. But please, you guys, you guys scared me though, man. You don't think they're really gonna bring Portis back here? Were you guys serious when you were saying that earlier? I'm serious. Like Bobby could be back in the roster. I'm serious. Well, like- uh, well, Ian Begley um, says that there is um, it, he has fans in the organization. That's what Ian Begley said. He has right. fans in the organization. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> there oh, is geez. mutual I can't interest. Watch that man, I can't watch it. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. Let's just hope that we get a DJ Augustine in here or Jeff P just to run the offense, so that the other guys can develop. Let's hope that. You know, RJ develops this year because I just I know I'm going to be the minority here. I I wasn't excited with his first year, candidly. Um, I'm hoping he shows um, m- more of a skill set this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and let's just hope you know we, we we can get we do need somebody in the one spot who can because without one we won't be able to build the team. The yeah. last thing is, guys, you remember last year I was complaining about DSJ coming in to the season out of shape. Please, God, please let this man come in this season in shape, not 20 pounds overweight, because that will show me a lot as to whether he wants to be an NBA point guard. Anyway, guys, thanks for yeah. taking the call. Have a good night. And by the way, you were great this afternoon, CP, with Begley, man. Well done. Talk appreciate it. Take care. Pre- appreciate it, Dan. Appreciate it, man. Um, <laughs> everybody in the chat bash and Portis. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I yeah, kinda, you, you I kinda did not like that. Portis. Yeah, I kind of started that. But I, I started liking him near the end of the season, though, man. Yeah, I I'm about to admit, say he was balling towards the end of the I season. I got to admit, man, I became a Bobby fan at the end, man. He, yeah. Bobby balling towards the end. Yeah, yeah. Salute, salute to Bobby, man. Um, Here's the thing about the salary cap floor that Dan was asking about. Here, here's the situation. So... There's a specific threshold that the teams have to meet, right? There's the salary cap floor. It's 90% of the cap, okay? So, for instance, if a salary cap is $101 million, the salary cap floor is $91 million. That means that's the amount that you need to spend on player salaries. Mm-hmm. 90% of the cap, you have to spend that. If you don't spend it, they take the difference and spread it across the salaries of the players that are already on the team. So that's quote unquote the penalty. Right? Right. Is is it a penalty if you, you still only spending um I guess so. Huh. So it so for example, in this situation, right, where the cap um is 101 and the floor is 91 million and let's say the team only spends $88 million. So there's a $3 million difference that gets distributed amongst the current roster. So, that's so you get a raise. You get a raise. Yeah, Everybody you get a raise. You get a raise. You know what I mean? <laughs> so the, the Knicks could very well go that route as well. You know. And the Knicks could very well go that route as well. Mm-hmm. And, and keep it very interesting in, in their uh, campaign. Yeah, their if there's no if there's no free agents to give anything to, then what? Mm-hmm. Just find some more um, bad yeah. contracts to get to buy and yeah. some picks out of it, probably. And so how it's distributed, I think this article was from 2018. So this article was two years ago, but the players union determines how exactly the money is divvied up. Most recently, players who spent at least 41 games on the team's roster received the full share, while players between 20 and 40 games on the roster receive half. Mm. A player can exceed his maximum salary as a result of the shortfall payment. Uh, the more you know. The more you know. The more you know. So, so that doesn't kick in. So basically, that doesn't kick in until the season. Yes. Starts. Yeah, yeah. I guess halfway after the season's over, it kicks in. I guess. Yeah. Now, in terms of what do they do with Julius, 
you know, listen, man, it, it's all about options. These teams go in, they have ideas, they talk to each other, they have, you know, uh, agreements, verbal agreements, they have agreements written on paper. And so uh, they're going to have to explore that, right? I'm sure they, again, I, I had an idea or uh, I had learned that they were tra- trying to trade Julius Randle from before the draft even started. Um, so clearly they've been making plans there. What's yeah. happened? What's transpired since then? We'll see. We'll you know, see. Things have just kicked off. Things have just kicked off. Maybe they have a deal on the table. Maybe this Hayward thing sets things in motion. You know, right? This, this probably has some other, probably some A's and B's have to happen before us. You got Plan B A all the, the way through Z. Yeah. The ducks in a row. Exactly. If anything we learn from watching the draft is just exactly. contingency plans on contingency plans. Oh, we're going to trade up from Obi Toppin, so we're going to trade <laughs> 27 pick for the 8 and the 23rd. Yeah. Oh, we got Toppin. We can trade it back down. Now yeah. we're going to try to get Maxi. Yeah. Oh, we missed Maxi. It's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, look how, and look how quickly they were, no pun intended, but look how quickly they were able to uh-huh. get back into the same position that they left out of. Exactly. Because they had those lined up with those. I want to see their teams. whiteboard. Their whiteboard yeah. must be crazy. Yeah. If anybody saw the interview that I did with uh, with Brandon Williams, the former assistant GM of the Kings, watch that interview, man. It's very insightful on the behind the scenes of team building and and building from the bottom and the draft and and tank. You know, he was he was part of um, um, the process with the Sixers. So he went through that, and and it was a good interview, man. It was a good interview, very insightful. So, um, definitely appreciate Dan for the call. All right, All right Jails. I, I think uh, I think that's it. Like I said, we we're not gonna make this a telethon. That Alex mm-hmm. Burke's news was was enough to uh, end my night. Yeah, uh, and quite I my think, appetite. Yeah, and I, and I, <laughs> and I think. That's just about all I could take tonight. But um, like I said, man, plenty of content, plenty of content across the channels. Appreciate everybody for watching. Make sure you check out the uh, the SNY appearances. Dan had said I, w- I was on SNY twice this week with Ian Begley on the putback, talking mm-hmm. draft and free agency. So make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, man, JL's got to sign up, bro. Yeah, shout out to you guys, man. Um, thanks for having me on. You guys definitely check out Nick Time Show on YouTube. That's youtube.com slash Nick Time Show. Uh, we, we're going to be recording on Sunday, though. but um, So there's no real new episodes, but definitely check us out and subscribe to that channel. Also, check out our blogs on the Nick Time Show.com. Shout out to guys who contribute. Nick Santi, DJ, Fritz, uh, 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 everybody else who writes for the Nick Time Show. Shout out to you guys. Also, follow us on social media. That is the KOT Show on Twitter, The Nick and Time Show on Instagram. Also follow us on Facebook. We're on Nick and Time Show there as well. That is all. Oh, got merch us too. You can get some merch from us too on nickandtimeshow.com. That is all. Back to you, CP. Yes, sir. Thanks again, JL. Great job. Salute mm-hmm. to everybody in the chat. Once again, great job, everybody in the chat. Thanks for all 3,000 people who attended. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up button on the way out. If anything else happens with the Knicks, man, we'll come back to you live and just uh, and recap real quick. But uh, for now, we'll just shut it down. If anything happens between now and tomorrow, whenever, keep it locked. Knicks Fan TV, Nick and Time Show. Hold on a second. Show for the man. Uh oh. Drew Holiday trade between the Bucks and Pelicans may soon include a third team. Uh oh. <laughs> Who's the third team? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so there it is, a little cliffhanger. To come ding, back ding, ding. to Drew <laughs> Holiday, oof, oof, and this could be a, a insane domino effect if the Bucks two deals to satisfy the freak fall through. Sheesh. Man, if I'm the Knicks, I'm getting involved and I'm asking for everything. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what they can get, but hey, never know. Might want to see know. if they can get involved. There. Yeah, maybe if we swipe, if we miss out on some deals, yeah, maybe we can take on some more contracts for picks. Yes, sir. That's something to think about. Yeah, man. Anyway, people, we out of here. Thanks again. 